challenger who came close on so many occasions. But this champion, we saw her grow up even more tonight. Maybe after the intervention of Smart Mark Sterling backfired, Jade Cargill found herself some new representation somehow on the spot. Oh, now the baddie's holding Anna Jay up. Oh, here comes Stanlander. Thank God. Chris Stanlander putting herself a very imposing woman is Chris Statlander. She wants red velvet. You know who she's looking at. Her former friend, and look at him face to face. Remember, Statlander defeated Red Velvet in the Owen Hart Foundation tournament. And what is this? Nice. and no fear. Let them go. Wow. Double or nothing has been massive. And Crowd showing their appreciation by chanting Athena's name. If you're watching a picture, picture, you saw that counter off the rear chin lock. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. It's like a laser beam went to the ground. Explosivity there. right there, oh. boys. Explosivity. Ooh. Lifting kick, chopping Enzigiri from Athena. Got what? some quick feet. Yeah, kick combination there by the fallen goddess Athena. He's just starting to warm up here. Athena incoming, buddy. And now oh, Athena. Nice. Front hand spring into an elbow strike. Rolls Kira Hogan through. Now Athena headed to the top. Could be all the way to the top. Could be looking for that swan diving cutter. She. Oh, well, Red Whoa. Velvet. Velvet just got kicked. And oh, oh wow. Athena. Got yanked off the top by Kira Hogan. Think Athena knew she was going to land on her face. She tried to stop it, but she could not. And now Kira Hogan. Oh, beautiful. Diving hook on Rana. Got to keep on getting after now, Hogan. And Kira Hogan. She's running. Boot slide across the face. And now Kira, high stack. Two. Oh, Athena. Tough to kick out of that right there. You know, when you get stacked that high in the back of your head with your opponent's body weight on you, it's tough, but impressive kick out by Athena. Now you see Hogan, no back down, no stop. She's keeping the heat on her opponent. Well, she's been doing that pretty much throughout the entire match. I, I've, I've actually been quite surprised how she's dominated Athena. And you know as well as me, Chris, that's so important. Oh, hair versus hair. You got that oh. coming up, buddy. Jericho. Look at this. Hair versus hair. Jericho versus Ortiz in St. Louis. Two weeks. You're going to see a bald man, Excalibur. A bald man. Good test. I'm going to shave his head. I'm going to burn his face because I'm a wizard. Shave his face, too? Yeah. He needs one. Wizard staff has a knob bad. on the end. It does. It does. But nonetheless, this match continues. Kiara Hogan. Laying in some elbow strikes to Athena, who's caught up on the top rope. These girls are taking each other to the limit. This has been a long match here. It's been a battle to yeah, the I mean, point. It you really know. has been a battle. And wait, Athena gets her footing on the top rope. Uh -oh. Could oh, this oh, be? Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, face gosh. from Athena! The oh. spawn diving cutter! One, two, three! Wow! That looked absolutely oh, vicious. The fallen goddess, Athena! 
Oh, you better watch yourself there, Miss TBS champ. Taz, it's not often we see Jay Cargo with a nervous look on her face. You're right, because look at this. Wow! But you're right, Excalibur. Cargo definitely had a look on her face like, oh, okay. But this girl's here for real, Athena. No joke. Yes, she is no joke. Impressive debut here at AEW. She's making a statement. Look at that face. She's telling her to get in the ring. Birthday girl chant wants none of it, though. Jade Cargill wants no part of it. Stokely Hathaway preaching that discretion is a better part of oh, the A catapult into the bottom rope. And all, all while Paul Turner's attention was on the champion and Serena Deeb. Rebel, the, the antics on the outside. Yeah, right here. She's stalled. Now, yeah, this is great teamwork by Britt Baker and Rebel. Again, what we were talking about, using the word shenanigans. Diving shoulder block, and Britt. Yeah. She, you see the look on Britt's face, disappointed. That she, she saw that coming, that Chalibur. Yeah, and now look at this again on the outside. And Rebel. Women. Rebel's been more involved in the match here tonight. I've seen it quite a while. All this, as we know, this, this interim world title is on the line here, right? It's a big opportunity. I mean, really, that all throughout the reign of Britt Baker's AEW Women's World Champion. I mean, that was one of the hallmarks of her defenses. Using Rebel, using Jamie Hayter to assist her. And now, Athena trying to drop kick. Oh, she's got over. that single leg prep. Sorry, single leg prep there. The AEW Interim Women's World Championship on the line in this four-way match. Tony Storm with Dr. Britt Baker locked in a single leg crab, as is Serena oh, yeah. Deeb on Athena. Yeah, this, look at this. And, and and Baker and Athena are the ones that are getting all that pain with those single leg crabs. And Paul Turner's got his work cut out for him here, doesn't he? He sure does. And, and, and referees all night have had their work cut out for them. Yeah. Because right. a, a lot of our athletes throughout the whole show have been game planning properly going into these matches. Just say they both give up at the same time, right? Who wins the title? I, mean, I guess whoever gives up first, yeah, right. but that's, that's, that's Paul right. Turner's <laughs> decision, and I'm glad I don't have to make it yeah, but right too. now. I agree. Tony Storm hammering Serena deep, but deep, firing back with those chops. Those chops are on point. Oh, God, right on the shoulder and head area. Good job by Storm. The hip attack in the corner. Britt Baker transitions under. Rolls through, swinging neck breaker. Snapping, swinging neck breaker. That was impressive. Now Britt looking for the stomp, but wow. Athena. Wow. How about that? She had a head of steam, and Athena stopped it. Yeah, Athena came in from the blind side to take out Britt Baker. Now Serena Deeb. That hurts the most. It's like a crack back block. You don't see it coming. That sucks. Serena Deeb and Britt Baker, they were partners one week ago. Now going at it for this chance to become AEW Interim Women's World Champion. Deeb floats through the ropes. Britt Baker overcommitted there. Watch out! Ooh. Oh, wow. And Serena made Britt pay for it. Athena overcommitted as well. A dragon screw right across the rope. And now Deeb comes in, rolls Tony Storm through, and neck breaker there. Serena Deeb. Here we go. With the chance. One, two, no. Oh, wow, Storm kicking out. Hey, you gotta, you gotta love that kick out. Hard to do. Yeah, you gotta love what Serena's doing too. She looked good. Well, Serena looking for the Serenity Lock now. She turns the corner. She's got Tony Storm all locked oh, up. And that knee is really in the arm. Center of the ring. Tony He's Storm tap out here, guys. On the verge of tapping out. I don't think we've ever seen anyone survive the Serenity Lock. Watch the but, doctor. Oh. Again, talk about a blindside shot, Taz. Yeah, right in the jaw, and then another blindside shot from Athena on Baker. Athena hoists up Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. Serena Deeb charges in the cross. Oh! oh wow. Look at the strength here by this young lady. Oh, man, that's wild. The fans are digging this. Look at this! Whoa! Baker's face just got crushed. And Athena now the momentum, the support of the fans here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Athena feels it. She wants to capture this AEW Interim Women's World title. Oh, wait, oh, Athena. She slingshotted back to her feet. Got to get the cover. She's going to win this match. Athena, the cover. Two, no, deep there to break it up. Great.
great job on that side. Now you see if I think I, I just looked off my mind a Britt Baker her nose. Remember that nose that that was broken. She required and look, surgery I, I on what, that. Ribbles, I'm sorry, Rebel. I'm sorry, she's right next to right next to Britain. They've been up to something before in this match. I think they're up to something now, guys. I'm telling you, they're up to something. Serena Deeb sent to the outside. Tony Storm goes underneath Athena. It's, it's like we said, it's been the theme of oh, the night. Oh. The DDT, but the kick to the shin. Now Britt Baker transitions. It got it. Not the launch on the crucifix. Oh, but instead, this. Tony Storm. Tony. One, two, three. What a counter. The winner of this match. And still, AEW Interim Women's World Champion, Tony Storm. Lightning quick on that pin and that counter. A tremendous effort by all four competitors, but Tony Storm, what a high IQ move that was, Ted. Oh, you just said it better. Oh, watch out. A bloodied up, busted nose or tooth. Rip Baker. This beatdown of the champion. No chance to even celebrate for a second. And Britt Baker, I'm not sure what she's more upset about being bloodied or losing that AEW Inter Women's World Championship. She's got a busted. No, his oh. Hater, Jimmy Hater. Jimmy Hater has the rift been. Oh, oh brother. The rift has not been sealed. Here's going to be the answer to your question right here. Oh! Whoa! I guess, well, there goes Hater's loyalty. She's loyal to the doctor. And now, look at Serena D. Just swarming Athena. Oh my God, this is insane after the matchup. This violent beatdown here. Tony Storm fending off three challengers to defend the AEW Interim Women's World Championship. And Britt Oh, no, watch out. Oh, no. oh, God. Athena spiked with that. That will definitely screw up your face and head area. I'll tell you, I, don't, I think Britt Baker's nose is broken or something yeah, here. Yeah, I believe, I believe you're right. Of a weight. Britt now with the glove. And Tony Storm flat in the center of the ring. She's going to send a message to the champion here. Side of Athena emerge, and this was even after the bell. 
attacking her opponent. Says this unchecked aggression by Athena coming out and now here tonight. And with all that, Excalibur comes wins. With wins comes money. It certainly does, but a big test for Athena here tonight in Madison Rain. And her opponent from Columbus, Ohio, Madison Rain. 17 year veteran. I've known Athena my entire career. I know her body of work inside the ring and I respect her for it. What I don't respect is the way that Athena has been treating her opponents after the match, the disrespect that she has shown to them and to this business. Athena, Whoa. tonight, your games inside that ring come to you. We missed the beginning of that. Athena just drop kicked her from behind while she was standing on the second rope. Yeah, Athena. Well, she made her point. Well, she sure did. Yeah, but she... I always love those robotic wings, too, Excalibur. I just had to say that. It's a but, great look. It is a great look, but right now, Madison Rain, oh, just drives Athena into that middle turnbuckle. And now Madison comes in with the elbow strike. And we were, we were hearing this. those words from Madison Rain, but yeah, that was the wow. drop kick caught Madison Rain from behind. That's serious business right there, let me tell you. Got her knee in the ropes, too. Could have done some damage right out of there. That was right from behind. And remember, coming up next Friday, special Black Friday edition of AEW Rampage, an early start time, 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 Central, next Friday night for, or next Friday afternoon for Rampage, Black Friday. Oh, look at this. Oh, thanks. Oh, nice strength shown by Athena there. Yeah. Madison Rain's getting woman handled. She's got battered into that railing. Look at the face of Athena. It says it all. I mean, she is wrestling. Yeah, her game is with purpose right now. She's very intense. Yeah. Every and time you see her in the ring, very has a little bit of a lunatic fringe thing going on she's there. She's also, uh, I think, uh, wanting more money. I think she wants some oh, wins. Oh, jeez. We all want more money, Jr. I like that little bit of a, a back handspring into the to the back hand. Paul, right yeah. in the face, exactly. You think she is now, Muda? Now, the Springing Muda. single leg trip there by Madison Rain. Jackknife very nearly. Oh, she's got the three count, but Athena just kicked in the midsection, cutting off Rain's momentum. This match has been dominated offensively by Athena. Yeah, I think Athena will take the shortcuts, as we've seen now, that Madison will not. And that did, may be to the detriment of did, Madison. Did Madison just kind of DDT Athena she on that suplex did. She there? Reversed, it looks, it reversed looks like she hit, hit her head. Delayed vertical suplex did Madison Rain. It was a rough landing for Madison, but even rougher one for Athena. Athena trained by two guys we all know. Shandar Akbar was my, one of my mentors back in the day. The general. And of course, Booker T. Wow. Involved in training Athena. So she's had some good students. Big Madison with a nice elbow to the face. Who's tired of that one? And now Madison, she's looking for the cross ring, but instead Athena turns it around and now flips forward into the stunner. And oh, oh wow. wow! Oh my gosh! Runway truck. She, that elbow to the side of the jaw. That's it. And you saw Madison Rain trying to cover up, but Athena just continues to batter Madison. And now Athena. That was impressive. That's got to be it for Madison Rain. Far leg hooked, and Athena scores the win. Impressive victory for Athena here tonight on the Rampage. Oh, Athena. She, she's here, and she means business. I got to say, she was quite impressive there. She beat the hell out of Madison Rain. Dominated. And, oh, she's stiff. I got kicked to the uh, back. I love it. Continuing the assault after the bell. This has been Athena's ever. Oh, what? What, what the what? what? Hello. I have been working with Aubrey Edwards for three years. I've never seen her and down on the mat like this. Get abused. And there's going to be some fines and suspensions yeah. handed out here. Yeah, absolutely. They need to find her soon. Oh, no. Mercedes Martinez, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. She's been out with injury, but she is here, and she has seen enough out of Athena. I see you. Athena, let's let it. Where Aubrey Edwards is out. Madison Rain is out. Let them fight. Oh, look at Athena. Nope, uh, she's gone. the better part of Bauer in her estimation. Athena backing off from Mercedes Martinez, but a very, very interesting development here. Great cover. Ooh. 
That was a kick out, but that kick out was a kick out of desperation, Riccoboni. Athena's in a lot of trouble. Trying to get to her feet, but her legs are not cooperating. And Mercedes, who's waited a long time for this championship to exist, for her to be in position to win and retain it. The legs are grapevine here. We may be in the precipice of seeing. Look at this. Yeah. Just that position. Stacking her up on yeah. that neck. And Athena, the powerhouse, pushing out, relieving pressure, trapping the legs, sends her into the ropes. Athena had to do that. Now Athena's in a position where she knows she has to do something, but she doesn't have it in her tank to capitalize. Martinez trying to get away. But Athena following her right out. Yep. The challenger knows she's got to win it in the ring. In Ring of Honor, there is a 20 count, but it's still pinfall or submission. Whoa! Oh! Swinging for the fences, driving her into the apron. That's a move that paid off and is going to buy Athena the time that she needs. Yes. Can she capitalize? Can she? Oh, she's keeping her on the apron. Yeah, Martinez is intentionally dead waiting. It's called dead waiting. She's dead waiting, making Athena use all of her energy to pick her up. This is a way to attack it to try to recover. Driven into the barricade. And this is where things got violent. Yeah. With Jody Thread on the outside. And a, a I told you. I told you that dead weight she was setting her up. Buying her some time. And that's that veteran instinct, yep. that veteran savvy. Oh man, I see it, man. I know what a veteran's doing. I've been a veteran. I'm 27 years in this thing, Rick Abani. Ooh, nice forearm there. Mercedes in to break the count. And, and by dead weighting, she has something in mind on the outside. That's mm -hmm. the dangerous part. If you're Athena, you gotta know you're in deep, deep trouble here. Yep. Ripping off. She can do anything she wants right here. Oh, oh my god! Anarchist suplex! <laughs> on the outside! It's a thin mat. You can see right there that camera. Oh, that's a thin mat on the outside. It's an inch and a half, maybe. <laughs> and this is well, I'm looking at it, it's concrete behind us. It is concrete. I mean, there, there's thicker mats at Salisbury, Salisbury Elementary School. My son Zach is out playing basketball. This is... You can see writhing in pain right there. That's what happens at the veteran instinct. What she was able to do was put her in drastic trouble on the outside of the ring. Posey's going to use his 20 count. Mercedes is going to try to recover. You know that conditioning that I was talking about? This is what she needs to regain her condition. Rallying behind the challenger, Athena up to eight. We're up to nine, Athena in before 10. But Mercedes has the high ground. She's the advantage, rolls her up. Athena, looking for a quick victory. Just a two count there. It's Mercedes back to her feet. Close line mm. sends Athena down. And this shows a lot of heart from Athena as well. Athena has a 20 count. But she got up when she was able to get up. She didn't use the mass amount that she had. Got to ask you a question though. Okay. Mercedes has been wrestling more under ROH rules. Athena's been wrestling under AW rules. You're right. Do you think there's anything to it? Did she know she had another 10 seconds to breathe? It's a great point, Rick Bonnie. It's a great point. A hold of the wrist. And that's another advantage. And to be fair, Mercedes has more reps in Ring of Honor, has more matches, not only now, but in the past, in 2006. We call that champion's advantage, Rick Bonnie. Ooh, and and she's trapping the legs here, and it could be lights out. A trip to Ooh. Brass City may be in order. That shot to the gut brings an involuntary protection to your sides, setting you up for a surfboard. And Athena looking for the Brass City sleeper, fighting oh. and fighting. Doing anything it takes here with the title on the line. That's survival mode right there. Forearm connects. Up and over, found her way out of it. Athena has Mercedes up, got her with the knees. Got her, hooks the leg, two. I was gonna say, too close to the ropes right there. I saw it when she landed. Wow, I thought. 
And Martina still has the wherewithal to know where she's at at all times. You see that lace around the ring yeah. there? She's lacing herself around the rope oh, to make oh. it hard to pull away. Caprice, you got to be careful here. Yeah. Athena put her hands on Aubrey Edwards, got suspended, and yeah. now she's tearing the turnbuckle off. Focus on what you're supposed You're close. I don't know if we're That's getting a that souvenir. Yeah. Martinez just let go of that rope. She trusts herself to stand up. And we're seeing now Mercedes Martinez, Athena off the ropes, pop up, down. Stacking her up, one, two. Just a two count there. And what a war we're seeing here. It's been back and forth. Our first title bout of six championship encounters here. That final battle. Well, Athena wasn't so destructive. And Athena, yeah. Athena with Pope. This could be in a way. Oh, and, they, and blocking in the corner. Oh, oh shot, shot, go! Oh, That's the, the, back of the head! Back of the head! Back of the head! Martinez is hurt bad. It's like getting in the, hitting the back of the head with a frying pan. Athena has the champion in grave danger. It's only a matter of time, Riccoboni. And the old face got her. Cover. That's we got a new champion. The winner of this match and new Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Wow. Athena. We take a look at Athena's parents who made the short trip from Dallas in celebration. 14 in a row turns into 15 in a row. And gold around the waist of the fallen goddess. You gotta know that this win is huge for Athena. This win is massive. Not only winning the women's world title, but winning in her hometown in front of her parents, beating somebody that she's had problems with in the past. This is a great win for Athena, and I hope her to be a great champion in the future. Athena has what it takes. The skill, the determination, the power, the technical, and this attitude, that gear. Paul White said it best on AEW. She's found something. Yeah. She dug deep. She found something. She found that championship mentality. Athena defeating Mercedes Martinez. We have a new champion here in Ring of Honor. That light switch that she found, and she needs to grab it, harness it, and continue to run with it. Don't let anybody set her away from it. This is a champion's mentality, a light switch she's been looking for for a long time. So many times, so many wrestlers, they want something to, to that light switch to come on. That light switch is on for Athena. Athena taking her moment to celebrate. Soak it in, a final battle moment here in Arlington, Texas. Congratulations, Athena. Funny thing is when John oh. does it, he's applauded. <laughs> right. A little bit of a double standard there. It is because it's the violence, it's, it's uncensored, and the attitude that comes along with it. But you know what? If that's what she decides to do and it retains her title, hey, more power to her. And you know I'm a Willow fan, so I'm not yeah. just... Oh, that, arm, I mean? that arm was down the, yeah. down the hole of the stairs. That's what she was intending for. Willow fighting for survival right here. Oh, Trying for it again. Caprice Posey needs to get in there and stop this. They, they're going to break her arm. They're going to hyperextend her elbow. And, and uh, Athena, she's... This is... This... Oh, and it's dead going for the shoulder. Shot after shot. And, and, and Posey might have to make an uncomfortable decision here. He may have to get in there and call this match because she is defenseless right now. This is creative violence. No. Creative violence. Oh! oh my goodness! The arm may be broke. The elbow joint may be separated. The shoulder might be dislocated. There's a line of competition between hurting somebody and injuring somebody. This is intentional injuring here. This is cross hurting somebody to win a match. This is injuring, like injury hurt. This is, this is to cause injury. Fans coming alive for Willow, who has become certainly the underdog here after that violent shot. Athena, who has won nine matches in a row under the Ring of Honor banner. My goodness. Looking to make it 10 here. 
you seen the way that Willow was trying to crawl in, man, she wasn't even able to use that left arm at all. She was trying to pull herself in with the right arm by herself. Look at this. And just, just taunting. And the crowd is behind her. They can't help it. Look at the Hurricane Rana caught. Caught by Willow. The bait with power. Power bomb on the apron. She's not finished with a Rick of body. Oh, my goodness. Snaps her through. Oh, this McCauley driver. That's what Willow needed, even on the floor. She needs that type of impact. Listen to the crowd. And Willow may not win with that exact move, but she is in church. She is not lost. And it gives her the time that she needs to recover from all the damage inflicted by Athena. You can see the pain rinsing on Willow's face. We're up to nine in Ring of Honor. There's a 20 count on the outside. Thank you for letting them know, Rick Abani. We have a lot of new fans. Ring of Honor has never been hotter. We thank you for joining us on Honor Club, episode number two. Coming to you from Universal Orlando, referee Mike Posey. 13 here. The title cannot change hands, unlike the pure title. All other Ring of Honor titles do not change hands on count under disqualification. As Willow gets back to her feet, mm. the challenger, oh, but she's, she's got spaghetti legs right yeah, now, Caprice. Absolutely, man. It's so much pain she's it, in. She's running on heart right now. It's and we're up, to, we're up to 18. And, and both women are back in. And credit to Athena, because she could have taken that loss and lived to fight another day with the type. And that shows she's a fighting champion, too, man. Hate her, hate her or love her, man. She's a fighter. You're not shit, Willow. Oh, goodness. And look at this, just pie facing, slapping. Oh, right blocked, and the far off driven through the jaw of Athena. Waking Willow. Charging in. Oh, Willow. Snapmare. Drives Athena down. Could this be the moment? The championship moment. Willow is like a fox spine buster. Stacks her to act two count only. See the fire in Willow's eyes. That's what she needs. She needs to follow through. Capitalize on this. Stay on the champion. Oh, she's looking for it here. Gun wrench. Looking to finish things off with that power bomb. Oh, that arm. Shoulder. Oh, single arm. Right back to it. Driving the knee down. Great strategy. Told you that's what she is. She has that game plan in place. She stays with it. Arm trapped. Arm trapped. The cross face. She can always go back to it. Willow trying her best. Fighting with everything she's got to come a lot. And into a Fujiwara. A Fujiwara. That's Willow. Deep. That is so deep. Hanging on. Willow's hanging on. Rolls her up. Two. Mm. Two count. Two count. But most importantly, she's out of the Fujiwara Caprice. Yeah, the oh, goodness. I was say the dangerous thing about deep, being deep is that you're high, high enough to be pinned. But it almost doesn't matter now because those double knees to the face could have knocked Willow Slam out. Athena in control. Everyone say bye, Willow! Calling her shot here. What? Has her up. Oh my God! Whoa! How strong is Athena? Cover! Two! Oh! Blame it on the cover. To explain that expression. I'm just glad Willow's still in the fight, Riccoboni. If Willow has a pulse, Willow will be in the match somehow, some way. Whether it's adrenaline, whether it was guts, whatever it was, Willow Nightingale lives to fight another day. The championship remains in the balance here in our main event. Unbelievable bout between these two. Trying to try to make a decision here. Maybe look yeah. the, she likes to go up top. She's she's taking too much time, I think. I know she's going up top here, but she's taking too much time. She tried to decide, yeah. And up and out.
Willow is in this fight, Riccoboni. And the challenger knocking on the door. The champion crawling away, crawling for safety. Just three seconds separating Willow from the championship. Oh, goodness. Big kick there. Athena, springboard, followed in by Willow. Willow, those plumbing forearms to the back. Good wrench applied. Willow. And Athena blocks it. Athena blocks it, but didn't that time. She got her. to the list. Come here, come here. Willow has hit Athena with her absolute best shot. Does she have the courage? Does she have the resolve to fight through the doubt that is not filling her mind, Capri? That's what I'm talking about, man. Athena, she has shown everybody. She does not move the way people want her to move, but she is a champion, and she has champion caliber written all over her. Athena. Taking a breather, looking to go to the back, and that's not going to sit well with Willow Nightingale. But this never works out. And it, just giving her, giving her a back, giving her hair. Did she grab in the eyes? Oh, God. My God, thumbs right into the eye socket. Athena! She's still on the wrap. This is where the switch flips. This is that extra gear. Athena has found. There's only one thing left. Riccoboni has her in her sights. The oh, base. That's it. Cover yep. to God. The winner of this match and still Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. Absolutely sensational bout. To me, Caprice, it's a difference in experience. Athena, just a little bit more well attuned to the human game of chess. And almost what you're willing to do to hold on to what you got. She was willing to do stuff that you would never see Willow do. Digging that deep, digging that dirty to defend that title. How much does the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship mean to Athena? And inside the ring, oh, come on. Just showing Willow the championship. You don't touch, you don't touch the rest. No, that's fine, yeah. that's possible suspensions. Mike Posey. Posey saying, go ahead, touch me if you want to. What an effort from Willow tonight. The Ring of Honor Women's World Champion at the... Oh, come on! Uncalled for! Cowardly! I tell you, so many, so many ways of... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, God, the double knees! Oh, and the the coat of honor! Come on, now, the match is over. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Hasn't quite been the same yet, to your point, Caprice. Yeah. And Athena just, just biding her time at this point. Maybe she's playing possum, boys. We can only hope so. Irish whip now into the corner. Boots connect. And then, oh, goodness. And, and that's, that's not helping. Driven right yeah. down the back of the skull. Yeah. Oh, goodness. It's like Athena has found her target. It, it, uh, like a touchdown celebration out of the Deion Sanders playbook. Hooks the leg to him. It's hard to miss that target to your point, Caprice. Yeah. There, we mentioned the Kinesio take to the neck. Certainly the champion giving the challenger no quarter, nor should she. Yeah, if you paint the picture for me, I'm going to go right oh, to it. Oh, wow, goodness. she's working on it. Athena working on the neck of Yuka. And really full leverage, pressing down that downward force. Of Yuka Sakazaki getting the hips up, though, alleviating some of the pressure. Point of the elbow to the midsection. And Athena hasn't broken her grip yet. It's Sakazaki, though, with a jawbreaker. A little bit of space and separation. Swing and a miss. Nobody home. Athena back to her feet. Yuka driving Athena down. Oh, in the basement. 
Got it that time. And you got it. There we go. Lariat downstairs. Cover. Just a two. I have to wonder, Caprice, you got back into this match, but how much is that neck affected? Well, you can tell the effect that it had. even now she's trying to pick up that suplex. That uses a lot of neck strength as well. She's not going to be able to do that, and the champion knows it. Up and over, Yuka, the challenger, sends the champion into the corner. Mm. Oh, that may have stunned Athena, Nigel. Athena did her best to put her arm up to protect herself. All the way to the top, the magic girl. Cartwheels out of the way. Ducks the right. It's Yuka Saka. No. Athena. Look at that strength, man. She just stops her. That poise rips her with that power. Wow. Oh. Keeping her in play. And she's, she's got the fingers locked, the hands yeah. locked. Mm. Driving her down again. Stack. Unmitigated violence from oh. Athena. Plants her down. Two. Kicks out. Well, I don't think so. I think Athena wanted more. Look for a second there, like Athena wanted to do more damage. I don't know. Certainly, there is no doubt Sakazaki is hurt, is stunned. Athena wants to prove a point here, make this a definitive victory. And just writhing in pain right now, Caprice. This is the way she's been doing all of her opponents, man. Just decimating oh. them, hurting them, decisive victories. Playing with her opponents almost. And very, again, smartly targeting the neck. Yeah. And she comes, she's so smart, she comes in with a game plan and she sticks with it. She also studies oh! her opponent. She knows what she's doing in there. Mount to mm. oh. uh -oh. even with a cocky cover, Yuka was barely able to kick out of that. I would say, especially with a cocky cover, Yuka was able to kick out. Hold on. Cover to mm. again, not much of yeah. a kick out, not a lot of mustard yet. Sakazaki is certainly hurt. She's clinging on. Only by an inch. Slipping out the back door, escaping with that shoulder up. But every time she moves that shoulder, Nigel, that neck, that neck's in trouble. Here oh. we go. Oh, oh that's not going to help. Oh, my goodness. You have got landed. to admire Sakazaki's heart, her fighting spirit. She was certainly hurt earlier in this match, but she has continued to go. She refuses to quit. That is guts. That is determination. That is true fighting spirit. But she's going right back for that corner. Athena going for that corner. Caprice, we saw this on Dark Elevation. We saw it on Ring of Honor. She'll trap that leg. Yeah. And changing the mind here. But that's the thing about Let's Athena. Go. She's almost an innovator of violence. She's something new all the time that she does to hurt her opponent. Oh, and she's oh. right even now. Oh, oh, God. That neck from the wheelbarrow oh, onto God. that floor. That padding mm. is two inches at most. I'm the champion. Brace, I'm sure you'll agree with me, the former competitor yourself. The damage to the neck, it can end careers. Yeah. To sit here and see that, it makes my neck hurt. Absolutely, man. And then it's the one thing to hurt your opponent, but it's another thing to try to injure them. So these, are, these are injuring things that could shorten your career. Athena charging up. Oh, mm. no at home. Able to get out of the way just in the nick of time. Split second decision for Sakazaki. Big scoop and a slam. Oh, oh, oh. And she got it! Oh. That incredible strength. The slight physique of Sakazaki. Calls herself a magic girl. Oh. Oh. You have to pull a rabbit out of the hat to win this one. And those stairs have been so important into what Athena's done. A little tip for tap there. Little eye for an eye. And Sakazaki lining up Athena. Got her! And one of the biggest stars from Tokyo Joshi Pro coming into Ring of Honor, looking to capture the world title. Caprici hit that big splash, and now she's looking to end things here. Ascending the ropes. This is what she needs to splash. It might be a way to put away the champion. No. Yuka's going to have to stay on the champion. The champion is down. You can't look around. So close to a new champion here at Super Card of Honor. This is the opportunity for Sakazaki to take the title and take it back to the land of rising sun. And Yuka 
looking around, plotting mm. her next move. Gave Athena just a split second too much there. Athena back to her feet. The women's champion blocked the right. Yuka delivers the forearms. Three in a row. Four. And now, great space. Charges in with the fifth and knocks Athena down. I have been watching closely, and you're certainly Athena fighting champion. But this, perhaps, her toughest test to date. Yuka, look at the end things here. Spin out, blocked by Athena. Athena with Yuka up. Up and over, the challenger. Mm. Oh my god! And on top of Yuka, two! Oh, wow! Again, the ring awareness coming into play tonight. But I know the heart of Yuka Sakazaki. She wants to kick out of stuff, so for her to try to survive, she's in survival mode right now, waiting for the champion to make a mistake. She may not be able to wait much longer. Athena back to her feet first as Yuka tries to catch her breath, tries to find whatever's left down deep inside as Athena ascends to the top. Athena has the crosshairs on Yuka. The challenger charging in, delivers on the champion. Athena was going for that O face. Yuka had that scouted. Suplex coming up, plants her down, the champion is down. Back up to one knee. Wrist locked, hammer lock position. It's Yuka. Spinning out Athena. And plants her down. The challenger on the doorstep. Going for the cover here, hooks the leg. Two and no. And don't, don't give up, stay with it, Yuka. Nigel, the challenger not phased right now. You can see just going from one move to the next. She knows she's inches away from becoming the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. That's what you've got to do. I've been in that position a number of times in my career. You've got to dig down deep because this is your opportunity, and it might be your only opportunity. Second rope oh, on the that. outside. You can see oh, wow. Athena there oh. pulled the official in the way to create some space. Oh, oh face! Oh, face! Off the road! Athena, reign of dominance and violence continues. Capristo, the heart of Yuka Sakazaki, just uh, almost unmeasurable. You know, from the very beginning of the match, what we saw was that dive that almost took Yuka out. She stayed that hard on display and almost a couple of times became champion. But the dominant champion remains Athena. And Athena standing over their fallen victim. Code of Honor at here too. Nigel. Who can even stop Athena at this point? That is the million dollar question, certainly. A stacked division. Who will step up next, though, to Athena? Oh, very disrespectful behavior. Ceremoniously kicks her opponent to the floor. Right. They're using what they know best. They're using finishing moves from women that have come before them. But I think Willow should go with the gameplay she knows. Bet the hand your money's on, Willow. Look for the bait with the power bomb. Oh, oh, no one home there. It's Athena, back to her feet. Kick, no one home. Pushes the foot out the way, forearm. Willow's foot is stuck over the second rope. Second rope place over the second rope. Athena making sure she adds more damage to the challenger. Ascending to the second rope. Challenger in play. What is this? Power driver? What is this? I think I know what this is. I think. And oh! Obliteration! Obliteration the move! Mischief put on the map! And Athena signaling that this is the end! Stacking the challenger! And a what? Oh. Are you kidding me? Power on! Gotta be in two! The champion does not retain! You gotta believe everything that Willow had inside of her kicked out of instinct. Look at the strength on display from the champion. Watch this replay. Oh! There's obliteration. What? From the play. Again, and the fans coming alive, though, for the challenger. They know that she's got a pulse. And we have had homages and odes to the greats that have paved the way for this first ever main event. 
where the women's title is on the line. But if you're gonna do it, go with the move that you patented. Athena's going to the top. If she hits the O face, it's done. It's over. The champion will retain the track. Oh, Willow too close. Willow's too close. Now Athena's trapped on the top rope, and Willow has her. Not gonna let her go. Second rope on the inside. Willow Nightingale here with the champion in trouble. Wrist lock. High oh, Rick oh, lock. Oh, she's got it. Willow, the challenger, has. Oh! Wow, that's the calling driver off the top. Can Willow make the cover? One arm, two. You gotta blame it on the cover, but that was all that Willow could do. You can blame it on the cover, but you can't blame it on Willow. She gave it everything she had in that moment. Both athletes are giving all they have, and the winners are the fans right now. But there can only be one winner to this match, and that winner walks home the Women's Ring of Honor World Champion. Champion now finding her way to the apron. Spent emotionally, physically, mentally. Willow's going after her. And she has to. The champion retains on a 20 count. This is not the pure championship. The, the women's title does not change hands on a counter. Yeah, but is she being baited in is my question. Every time Athena goes to the outside of the ring, she uses the outside. Yep, throat thrust. And, and this is what we saw back in Orlando in their first title match. Yeah, the this spike. No, oh, that this. thud, sick thud. The body hitting the mat, nowhere to go. The champion oh. into the steps, almost a replay. And this is where it all came to a crashing end in Willow's Quest. The first time these two met, Athena's climbing up top, looking for the old face. If she connects, we will have Athena retain 32 and 0 right in our rear view mirror. Oh, oh my goodness. Cover to Not as shocked at the champion. I've never seen anybody kick out of the old face. There's a, there's a touch of madness in the eyes of Athena and a touch of magic in the air. Willow able to kick out as we take another look. Old face, the hip twisted perfectly. The lumberjack's executed. But Athena didn't have enough to get the shoulders down. And you can see, just like you said, if there is breath, if there is wind, if there is motion inside of Willow, she is not giving up. Athena believed that was three. She's giving an opportunity to the, the challenger. Oh, rolling Athena through, rolling Athena through. Gut wrench, gut wrench, the babe with the power. Power bomb, that might do it. She knew she had it right there. Willow needs to get past this. Hit something else. Take it home. It's so close. The fans got the right idea. The fans rallying behind Willow here. But you can't try the same thing twice on the champion, Riccoboni. Challenger champion perched up on the top rope. Willow Nightingale here. Second rope on the inside. We saw that's Macaulay driver earlier. She's got, she's got that front face lock now. Oh, wait a minute. The gut wrench. Athena holding on to the top rope for dear life. The title has she in the bit? with her. Is she biting her? Oh, she might be. She might be. Oh, oh no. Willow knocked cold, knocked senseless. Athena. And the oh. oh, face. That's got to be it. Oh, oh no. just in case it's not. Just in case the cross face locked in. And Willow, if you got anything left, you gotta leave it all in Trenton. Wait, Rosa, oh, throw, two. Ooh. And Willow, fighting for her life. Fighting. Don't tap, stay in it. Athena, uh -oh. keep her from tapping. STF style move. Athena, for a base. Her base has changed. Hips are high. 
Willow able to get her own hips out. Fighting, struggling to her knees. Oh, sunk back down now. She's in the middle. Willow is fighting. Hips are loose. Willow's hips are loose. Swing your hips, Willow. Swing the hips, Willow. The struggle in her man. She's fading. Willow's fading. If she's got one last push, she's got to give it now. She's got to give it now. She's, she's fading. Gonna... Willow, the oxygen leaving the body. Yeah. The winner of this match by referee stoppage. And still, Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. Wow. Absolutely unbelievable effort from Willow Nightingale. And one day, Willow's day may come. But tonight, it was the onslaught, the persistence, the relentlessness of the champion that pushed Athena across the finish line, making history as the first woman to walk out of a Ring of Honor pay-per-view in the main event with the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. You know, Rick Abani, sometimes I wonder how far can a champion go? We saw with Kiera Hogan the depth she was able to take. But still your champion, digging in deeper. Look how this match ended. Uh, oh. Using the old face, Willow was able to escape one. Here you see the pin, the, the persistence of Willow. And then the bait with the power bomb. Athena found a way, the heart and spirit of a champion. Kick out there, shock Willow. Willow stayed on it though, but Caprice one old face is a lot, two is too many, and locking in the cross face, that was very smart by Athena, not just hitting the old face, but hitting the old face and going right into a transition submission. That shows the heart of the champion right there. And fans, Athena retains the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. Join us this Thursday on Honor Club, where more Ring of Honor action to take place. Tomorrow night, Collision on TNT. Wednesday, Dynamite, Thursday, Ring of Honor. And this is... Wow, that's respect. And we may not know who will defeat Athena. That is not in our crystal ball, but what we learned tonight is that Willow Nightingale has earned the respect of the world champion, Athena. She's earned the respect. I've never seen Athena. She's bowing down to the champion. Fans, Saturday, TNT, Wednesday, TBS, Thursday, Honor Club for Caprice Coleman, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Happy wrestling, everybody. We'll see you Thursday night. This is a quarterfinal match in the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. Approaching the ring from Louisville, Kentucky, Billy Starks. What a sensation Owen Billy Starks is. Just totally kissing. Billy Starks She certainly is the 18-year-old pro wrestling prodigy, but also an academic prodigy. Billy Starks just recently graduating high school with a 4.16 GPA, the valedictorian of her class. Now here tonight with a massive opportunity in this opening round match in the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament, Chris. Good, well upset. Look at that head into trophy. the second round, but speaking about an upset, the absolutely dominant ROH Women's Champion, Athena. And her opponent from Dallas, Texas, she is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, the fallen goddess, Athena. Honor is to save your champion. Athena! Kevin Kelly, it was last September, AEW Dynamite Grand Slam. The last time Athena lost a professional wrestling match, she is on a 47 match unbeaten streak. Yeah, and, and when I'm filling out my brackets and I'm historically terrible at these, I get the wrong every time. I could not pick Athena. Her winning has just been so dominant, and yes, defending Champ, last year's champ is in it. We'll see what happens. But boy, Athena, next level right now. And our crowd of over 14,826 still filing into the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And to learn more about the message, the mission of the Owen Hart Foundation, visit owenhartfoundation.org. And this match not held under Ring of Honor rules, so the handshake not necessary, but Billy Starks wasting no time. Land on those kicks on Athena. Got to go for broke when you're wrestling Athena. Oh, you're not going to get a second chance. Billy Starks making it count. Mike Posey, her referee, gets the one count. And Chris Charlton, the winner of this match, 
will be facing Willow Nightingale in the semifinal round. Willow, the current NJPW Strong Women's World Champion, the woman who last night, or I guess earlier this morning, was called out by Julia of Stardom. Julia, former World of Stardom champion, the international face of that promotion, declaring that she's going to throw open her own forbidden doors, challenged Willow Nightingale, and that's a stacked deck for Willow. Tony Storm tonight, of course, potentially you're the winner of this uh, this match in the second round of the tournament as well. Billy starts with a chance here. The leg is hooked, and Athena showing her toughness. You know, it's interesting too, and as I think about the the reception that CM Punk might get tonight with Satoshi Kojima. Let's remember, Kojima said he wants to kill Punk, and mints no words about it. It's not a language barrier, and and I think that again, there could be just as many Punk supporters as there would be Kojima supporters, and that's one of the interesting subplots. And also, how is the crowd going to take uh, Tezuchiko Okada and Brian Danielson? Uh, I just, there's gonna be so much love and outpouring of thank yous from the audience here live that it, it's just gonna make the atmosphere incredible, Excalibur. It, it would be a situation where I think both men would receive a standing ovation before the bell. And that will be our main event tonight. Brian Danielson, Kazuchika Okada, the international dream match of epic proportions. And you still have time to join us on pay-per-view at the top of the hour, just over 35 minutes. As Athena, the snap suplex, turns the corner, pops the hips, bringing Billy Starks up to her feet. And Starks dropped right back down. Brian Danielson, of course, we saw Chris, uh, the the video that played when we were all together in Japan and Kazuchika Okada, we all witnessed Brian Danielson laying down that challenge. Oh man, and you felt just like Okada said, there's so few true dream matches. Ooh. Not just the connect the Japanese fans or American fans, but all over the world, such a huge reaction in Osaka Joe Hall when that Brian Danielson challenge played. Uh, you know, Billy Starks caught one of the ribs. Yes, and uh, is struggling to breathe. Athena so dangerous with those kicks. And Billy Starks attempting to get upright. Referee Mike Posey doing a good job checking in on the competitor, but Athena getting up into Posey's face. Billy Starks may have had a chance to collect herself, get sent across. Oh, and yeah, you could see the ribs of Billy Starks. Definitely an issue. She went into that corner hard and gets dropped down by the hair, even harder by the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Athena. I think if Athena wanted to, she could probably drag Billy Starks out away from the ropes and cover, get the three count. But this is one of the things we've seen is that in super confident mode, but also, too, a little bit arrogant at times. A little bit arrogant, a very big mean streak from Athena, who once again going after the body of Billy Starks. You know, when you see Starks, she is, you can just tell by her, her facial expression, her body language. As, oh. Now on the back, Billy Starks fighting from underneath here. But remember, a berth in the semifinal round of the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament on the line in this match. Athena could be poised to end it here with the oak face. Athena, no, Billy Starks, great anti-air. Maybe Billy Starks was playing possum. Maybe just a little bit. Death Valley bomb, one. Two and no. Man, let youth be served in this industry right now. When you look at the young stars of professional wrestling and the way they're taking over, we're going to see Shota Umino tonight. We're going to see uh, Jack Perry go after the world title. Daniel Garcia, so yes. many. Wheeler Yuta in that big eight person tag team match, the Blackpool Combat Club. Shota Umino and Kanosuke Takeshita versus the Young Bucks, Hangman Adam Page, and the unlikely reinforcements of Tomohiro Ishii oh, and what? Eddie Kingston. Oh, oh, Billy Starks burning too much daylight on the top rope. Yeah, Chris. again, the, the amount of time she had to go, yeah, Chris, it was and, too much. And so hard to suck air into those lungs with the, the rib work on the back end there. And this is a long way down for Billy Starks. Athena has it right where she wants it. Ooh, Starks. May have caught Athena on the button because Athena is fading off those ropes. But no, Athena fighting back, firing in those elbows. Very heavy handed is Athena. And Athena to the top. Oh, Hork on Rana 
Stark goes down hard. You can see immediately comes up, clutching that back. Athena sends her in, pops her up. Power! Bomb! And Athena the kick! One, two, no! Oh, boy, next level overdrive there from the ROH Women's World Champ. And Billy Stark showing her resilience. But how much does she have left in the tank? Athena cannot afford to become frustrated here. Winner, of course, faces Willow Nightingale semifinals. And how impressed uh, were you, Excalibur, last night advancing Willow Nightingale over Nyla Rose? And then, of course, here tonight against Tony Storm, the AEW Women's Champ. Yeah, Willow Nightingale has an opportunity to put up back to back victories to earn her second championship, the AEW Women's World Championship. And Billy Starks, shotgun drop kick, backing off Athena, but Athena, a shot of her own. These women exchanging drop kicks. And Athena, super accurate and sidesteps. Athena, nobody home for Athena. And Billy Starks hits the ropes, drop kick to the side of the head. Well, this could be huge, guys. Our leg is hooked, and no! Not only would Billy Starks advance to the semifinals of the Owen Hart, but you'd also have to believe she'd get a world title shot. She'd be in line, beating, the, beating be Athena. That's right, and Billy Starks now to the top rope. Athena rolling to the outside, trying to take herself out of play. 16-year veteran. Uh -oh. Billy Starks only two, uh -oh. and she's uh -oh. started. Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God! Crashes and burns right in front of us. Oh. Billy Starks went for the senton off the top. No, oh, was man. Home. And Athena was like a kid on Christmas when she saw what happened to Starks. Smashing up right in front of Mickey Matoy on the Japanese side here. And Athena. Brings Starks up and drops her down, two and three. The winner of this match, Athena. The Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena, punches her ticket to the semifinal round of the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament, where she will meet Willow Nightingale one-on-one. -on -one. It will be a champion versus champion battle, but we will have a champion versus champion battle later on tonight when Willow Nightingale and Tony Storm go one-on-one, -on -one. and let's go back to the wrestlons. In the ground. <laughs> they go back to Ohio <laughs> champ. You hear occasionally when Ohio State plays their opponents on the road. The main event is from Ohio, too. We have Shane Taylor competing in the main event here tonight. He takes on gravity. The winner takes on Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe made the challenge for all in. Oh, goodness. Wembley Stadium. Come on, As you see, Robin Renegade with the hair. Oh, goodness. That chair right there, just think about the Joker. Oh like, just think goodness. about the Joker's face. That's what it feels like. Oh! I'm off. And driving the face nose first, septum first, into the ground. And Billy trying to rally back here. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that's a face wash with Jordan. You know what his grip Jordan's have on the bottom of the shoe? I'm wearing them, I know. Yeah, yeah. she's tearing it right there. Oh, stop. Oh, oh that, and that, God. that is physical, but perhaps more so mental. What did the face? The, what the five hand? fingers say to the face? Yeah. There you go. I I can't, oh, kick in the midsection. Oh, Whoa. he said it back to her. Would that be a back fist or a backhand compliment or a backhand insult? Ooh. What? Big back elbow. Big boot there. Yeah. It's really sucks. Trying to create space. Wow, nice rebound there. And Billy Starks grabs the arm. Nice knee. And the knee spinning wow. kick there. Catches Robin Renegade. Billy Starks. Whoa! Gory, gory bomb. Hooks the leg. One, two. On the gory bomb, gets two there. This is the heart that Starks is showing me, man. Rick Abani, Starks is a star. Certainly is. Wrestling beyond her years here. You see the poise, the talent on full display. Hi, no one home, rolling through. Ooh, for the right. 
And Robin Renegade likes that trap spin. Got him hooked, yeah. Oh, God. Shoots the half, hooks the leg cover. Two, Robin Ooh. Renegade cannot get the three count. Starks is showing a lot of fight here. However, Robin Renegade is willing to bring more fight to her, back up to her feet, ready to inflict more punishment to Billy Starks. Firewoman's carry position here. Starks slips out. Off the ropes, hanging on. Lures Robin in. I'm in a bait move. And that is veteran presence beyond her ears. Now it's Billy Starks. Starks fly! Starks fly! Starks fly! Billy, oh, Billy! What? Bringing Robin into the ring. Now she ascends to the top rope. Billy up top. Starks looking to close things out. No! Oh, wow! Swat down connects. Hooks the leg. Charlotte, no one to be found. And that's no! it! The winner's match, Billy Starks! That's a win! That's, that's almost an upset! Oh, statement win! But Charlotte will not let the 18-year-old prodigy celebrate. Driving the skull into the mat, and this is two on one. This is insane. Uh, she's 18 years old. And, and, and I mean, this is the. I mean, it's one thing to take risks in a sanctioned sign match in between the bell. Oh, come on, the Renegades. What? This is an interesting development. As, as Charlotte continues to pound away on Billy Stark, the women's world champion making her way down to the ring. Oh, and then Robin, Robin wiped out. Whoa. Ducks the right from Charlotte. Forearm. From Athena to Charlotte. And Athena, who we. Who, who spared Rachel Ellering earlier. Oh, she wants to do it herself, Caprice. And, and maybe a not gonna do it. preemptive she, shot to her newest challenger. She's not going to do it. She's 18 years over, Cabani. Don't do it. Age matters not when you're a championship caliber like Billy Starks is. I think the champion is making a statement, but the champion shows that she's oh. thinking about it. Maybe another day. And she has saved and spared Billy Starks here. And look at the, the fear, but relief. I've never seen such a combination in the eyes. Here's a thought, Riccoboni. What if Athena saved Billy Starks because Athena wants competition? Athena wants the best competition handed to her and protected her to save for another day for a great match. Athena's been burning through competition. So she, you're, so you're thinking maybe you're Billy Starks? Athena wants Billy on the up and up at full strength? I would, I would think absolutely so. Well, more questions than answers here. Billy Starks, your victor. Moving up the ranks here in Ring of Honor. Oh, no, no, no. You better rap for her, the world. Come on, Brittany, fight back. My God. Is she gone? Yeah, she's gone. You can get up. She's gone? Good gracious. But if you don't write a rap for her, she's been wrapping everybody's heads around the post. Yeah, I don't need a rap. rap chores. <laughs> don't write. Off the ropes, Brittany J. Oh. Whoa, Whoa hands that's what talking ring. about. That's oh, why she's the champion. She's strong. She's explosive. My oh, oh, oh. pop up power bomb. Oh, good night, Irene. That's all she wrote right there. Cover two. Oh, don't. Oh, just right. The winner of this match, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. Oh no, oh. in a second. Oh, in this. This is uncalled for, too. Ah. The Renegades. The I'm, Renegades have stormed the ring, attacking the victorious the Ring of Honor Women's Champions. I've never seen anything like this on the other side of Athena. Normally, Athena is the one 
Well, she, that she's, is, but she's fighting back. She's fighting two people. Oh, goodness. The, the numbers game will always win in this situation. Great oh, body! There's no way! It's Todd a Jet of Ring of Honor! Billy Starks! Chasing away the Renegades. Hey, and I, remember what happened last week? I certainly do. Last week, it was Billy Starks who picked up the victory over Robin Renegade. Charlotte attacked Billy Starks after the match. And it was Athena who came to the aid of Billy Starks. Tell you what, you're 18 years old and you already got the eye of the champion. The champion has your back and you have theirs. Well, let's, let's just, yeah, yeah, well, let's wait one minute here. I might have spoken too soon. And, and Billy, you did a noble thing, but you, you never know with Athena, you might want to get out of there. And Athena, who picked up the victory, and it's Billy Starks doing the right thing, showing some courage, and returning the favor hey, for the champion. That's exactly what I feel she was doing. She was returning the favor because when the shoe was on the other foot, Athena came out and saved her. I don't think this is over. Billy Starks, coming up later tonight, you will be taking on one half of the Renegades, Charlotte. But I think the question on everyone's mind is, what exactly is going on between you and Athena? I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know what's going on between me and this crazy woman. I try to go help her and... Oh, you want to talk about crazy now? Wait till you get a load of this double trouble coming your way, honey. Uh, but let's talk about this double trouble. Let's not talk about your deal with Athena. Let's talk about ours. We put her down on the mat, easy breezy, beautiful, without even sweating. And your next baby girl, wait till tonight. Is that so? Oh yeah. Uh, but, but hold on, babe. We'll handle this care bear later. Well, coming up later tonight, still, Billy Starks will be taking on Charlotte right here on Honor Club. Face plant. Everywhere Billy Starks goes. He just, just, oh, ooh, including on the outside where Robin wanted her attention. Now, how many people do you know have the wherewithal of more than one person? It, it's incredible. Billy Starks wise behind her ears as she goes to the top. Billy! Oh! Swan dive misses. The empty pool, Rick Abani. Nobody home. And somebody stalking you. Oh, and Charlotte. Oh, oh God, that was a nasty driver. Wow! That's got to do it. Two, yep. whoa! The heart of Billy Starks is definitely on display. That would have put anybody away. Certainly would have. That Michinoku driver from the Firewoman's carry position. The neck, the back. Charlotte, Charlotte. elbow to the midsection from Billy, the big knee. Close line. Right, nice combination by Billy Starks. I'm so surprised at everything she does, staying with her, not letting anything breathe. I'm trapped, I'm trapped! This a pile driver? Face oh, God. Great face buster! Hooks the leg, shoots the half, and that's wow. it! Oh, no! no. no. Oh, no. Oh, not oh, even letting Bobby Cruz announce the official result! She can't even enjoy the victory before she's trampled by the Robin Renegade. And if you're the wrong one! Champ is here! Oh, God! Women's World Champion unloading on Robin Renegade! Charlotte trying to snatch the champ. Oh, goodness. Forearms connecting on Athena. And it's Charlotte and Athena. Robin and Billy Stark. Wait, they're working together, Rick Abani. Uh, separately together, perhaps. Forearms connecting. And it's almost like they're back to back. That's what I'm saying, back to back. Ooh. And I, and I think, oh, oh, oh. And I think they were, oh! That, Athena said duck! Wow! The Renegade sent retreating! The champion and... I don't know the thing of the champion, Rick Abani. Every time we think we have Athena figured out, everything we think we, we know the answer, Athena changed the question. And they spoke without saying anything, but their actions say it all! Synchronized dive! 
When you see something in somebody, you let them know. You can see the confusion in Stark's eyes. But the champion has eyes on you. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is she? Just Billy, trying, to, Billy, trying to wrestle? Yeah, well, Billy, you don't have to do this. You don't got to I'm still trying to... This doesn't end well. Just shake her hand. Oh, oh, Stop everything and jump here! Yeah. Come on, Minion, let's go! Minion, Minion, see? Listen to her, man. This is, you know how much great tools you can get from the champion? But, but Billy's, Billy's her own woman. I mean, I know she's only 18, and I know she's got so much to learn, but you can learn from the champion, Rick Bonnie. I will go. You can make things on your own terms, so I, I, this might be a one-sided engagement, and can you trust Athena? I, I'm just a little suspicious right now, Capri. Well, you would have to figure that out and make your own decisions. 18 years old, do you follow that crowd, or do you go, or you make your own road? got some great decisions to make, but either way you go, your winner of the match was Billy Starks, and I don't believe that's the last we're going to see of her. I'd like to bring in ROH women's champion, Athena. What's up, bestie? How are you? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm one second. Come on. Come on, Billy Goat. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on in here. Today is a very special occasion. I got my bestie here, and today we give loyal follower Billy Starks, her very own minion number. Billy, for all of your faithful service to your forever ROH chant, your fallen goddess, we are going to give you minion number 400,237 and three quarters. And I'm so very proud Athena, of you. That's not what's important right now. What about the Renegade twins? What about them? I think next week, me and you, we challenge the Renegade Twins in a tag match. No, 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 no. You don't think. I do the thinking, I do the fighting. That is why I am the champion. Bestie, tell her how this works. Uh, <laughs> what Athena says goes, I, I think it's pretty cool. So okay. we're gonna talk about this later, but in the meantime, chop, chop, minion, you have to drive me to the mall. I'm not her minion. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Our ROH Women's World Champion Athena has asked for this time. What exactly is on your mind? You know what? I think we all saw it last week. The tension that is in the air between you two. And I just want you to know that we can all coexist as a really big, happy Ring of Honor family here. So, I took the time to make you guys shirts. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. Don't worry, they match wow. mine. Yeah. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Yes, really nice. Thank you so much. Put them on. Hmm? Put them on. Put them on. Hey, chill. So just, just, yep. And then just come on. So we have Athena's bestie. And we have Minion, 400,237 and three fourths. I'm not even a whole minion to you? Where is my thank you? I spent 14 hours making these shirts. No, thank you. And mine to match. This is great. This is, Look, this is mm. this you did a great job. I'm so <laughs> thankful, Athena. I you appreciate know what? it. In, in honor of our new family, I'm going to take you up on that offer. We are going to challenge the Renegades tonight in a match. And I hope, Bestie, me and Billy do you proud. Okay. Yay! <laughs> too, much, too much energy. Let's go! Let's go! First Ring of Honor Honor Club episode back in February, Caprice. The Renegades started as a fixture. They've stayed as a fixture. Yeah. And they have by far been the best women's tag team here at Ring of Honor. The thing that Billy Starks has showed me that she could take a lot of punishment and keep fighting. She has so much heart on display at all times. You can never count her out. But she's gonna be in trouble if she doesn't make a move. She does here into the corner of the Renegades. Rosser makes the tag. 
It's Athena, the world champion. 36 in a row here at Ring of Honor. Coming in with those heavy forearms. And now she's throwing. Is that a minion toss? And that was the instruction she gave Billy earlier to, to just throw, oh, throw somebody into something. Oh, goodness. I tell you what, Come Athena here. is scary Come good, Riccoboni. She's scary good. Come here. Yeah. Oh, oh, Billy. Come here. Now, this is the thing that takes time away. Oh, oh my God. But you know what? The damage inflicted. Oh. But on who? Right. There's only one person standing in the ring, Riccoboni. And maybe there only needs to be one. She is the women's world champion. And the most dominant champion we've seen in men's or women. What is this? I got an idea. Let me just keep throwing my tag team partner on you. Alabama slam. Cover. One, two. Oh. I thought she was going to burn a breaker. I thought we were going to shout out your friend from North Carolina, Caprice. I absolutely he would like Ooh. that. A little Helms play in there. And. Oh. That was nice. Mishinoki driver by Charlotte. Yeah, from the Firewoman, it's Athena with the roll up. Handful of tights. Ooh. Only gets two. This is the thing about the Renegades. No matter where they are, they are able to dig deep. They are able to go into the end zone. They have great cardio to take a lot of punishment, and they never say die. Almost needing to be knocked out to beat them, Riccoboni. Absolutely. They have come well prepared with a great game plan in this grudge match here. It's been the Renegades who've been a thorn in the mm. side of Billy Starks. Athena unexpectedly came to their aid. Mm. But a big kick from Billy Starks. And Starks not afraid to reciprocate, not afraid to stand up with Athena also. But she is now caught. The Renegades. Oh, oh. God. Starks landed on her head. She's out. Cover. She's out cold. Two. The Renegades. Oh. How is she still moving? The head, neck, and shoulder of Billy Starks on that left side. You see how fast so. the Renegades go right to champion. Athena. This is tag team work, Riccoboni. This is how oh. a tag team works together. My God, double choke slam. Cover, two. That would have been the first time Athena has been pinned on Ring of Honor. Certainly would. We've seen Willow do it on AEW. It's her only blemish in the last eight months, period. She has not yet been pinned in a Ring of Honor sanctioned bout since winning the title. And the Renegades are looking to do just that. What a feather in the cap it would be. Not only and a Billy. feather in the cap, that would automatically put them in the ranks for the contendership of the women's title. What a way to win. Standing O'Connor roll two. And oh. Athena! That forearm has knocked out three of her last five opponents with the body. The lights are out. And Athena is denying the crowd. Billy Starks, who wants to go in and try and finish things off here. Denying the tag, looking for that O face. A little selfish if you ask me. Oh! Got it! But Billy, unbeknownst to Athena, made the tag. As Athena with the spear, Billy Starks with a beautiful swan dive. God, that's nice. Hook the leg, two. The winners of this match, the team of Billy Starks and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. Now, there, oh, oh. There's good reason to do that. The Athena is legit mad that she didn't get the pin. They got the win, but Athena didn't get the pin. And those are two moves that have won matches in recent weeks. I mean, two are better than one. I see nothing wrong with what Billy Starks did, making sure the Renegades were defeated. The one thing Billy Starks is doing is proving that she is a team worthy and oh. not a minion. Minion not finished, though. And Athena, is that Charlotte or is that Robin? I couldn't tell. I well, I, could, I was looking until her face got planted. That's Charlotte. Billy Starks asking, what do you do? Yeah, but she's not doing anything. She's standing there. 
Now, now Billy Starks, I think, maybe well within her right after the havoc that the Renegades have caused as of late, but a uh, save and maybe cooler heads prevailing. Your winner's a bit of a dysfunctional family. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be at the dinner table with these two. Yeah. It's the world champion, Athena. I, I've been in Billy Stark's shoes. I was there last week. I can't imagine spending any amount of time with this dominant, destructive, must-see violence that Athena brings 37 in a row now on Ring of Honor. Athena and Billy Starks, your winners here. All right, let's take a look at the only three-time Ring of Honor champion as he prepares for his match in Wembley Stadium for the AEW Championship. Baby. Up to the top, Billy Starks, you can see on the bottom of your screen, trying to cause a distraction and did successfully. So he's trying to warn her. But Martinez was coming up behind with some bad intentions. Martinez, one of the true veterans of the women's game. And a now, true inspiration to a generation. Look at this. The, the legs wrapped in the rope. Mercedes Martinez looking for the spider German. Paige out of Mariko. Yoshida's butt. Oh. And Scott Fio just got dumped. That's, wait a second. Mercedes still at. Ooh. Willow the cannonball. Itsy bitsy spider. And the old face! On it. Willow down, but Willow again takes herself out of play, out of pinning position, but Hikar Shida not impressed with the antics of Willow Nightingale. And this is a matchup I'd love to see one-on-one. -on -one. We are center court, center ice in the United Center. And Athena Hikaru Shida teeing off on one another. 20 minute mark until all out begins on pay per view. Hikaru Shida through the larry. Soul butt, middle kick, and Shida catch on the elbow, drops Athena. Shida so dangerous, lethal with her strikes. But Athena right back up, forehead to forehead with the former AEW Women's World Champion. Both women with the ropes, both women swept out. As Athena locking eyes with Sky Blue right in front of our broadcast position. Watch out for Willow! <laughs> oh my God! Willow Nightingale, a well-timed, well-placed pounce. Or a cheap shot, that's another way of calling it. Hiding. Well, Diamante tried a cheap shot of her own on Willow Nightingale. But Willow, oh now, the numbers catching up with Willow. Here we go, Diamante and Martinez. Oh, wait a oh. second, that's turn around quickly. And Mercedes Harden to the barricade. Diamante now left alone in the ring with Willow Nightingale. Diamante's like something from a Tarantino flick from dusk till dawn. Hold on. Willow with the fireman's carry makes the tag to Sky Blue. But thrust kick, death belly driver combo. And now Sky Blue with the clear path, perhaps. Sky hits the ropes, comes off. Code blue, one, two, three! Hey, hey! The winner to this match, the team of Sky Blue, Willow Nightingale, and Hikaru Shida! Great victory for Chicago's own Sky Blue, along with Willow Nightingale and Hikaru Shida. A hard-fought win for all three women. Well, you still have time to join us for All Out, coming your way live at the top of the hour, kicking things off with the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship title match. But before that, let's find out what the next chapter in the story of La Faction in Gobernable. Athena, I brought the cameras like you asked. What, what happened out there? What do you think happened? <laughs> Billy screwed up. We had a match on zero hour, and what were you supposed to do, Minion? Uh, cheer! No. No. You were supposed to help us win at all costs. Yes, yes, win. And when Willow pounced me into the barricade, you were supposed to be helping Diabla win the match. I had to check on you. No, no, no. I am not a child. I am the forever ROH champion. I don't need help. Here so, 
So, <laughs> you're an idiot. You're an idiot. I have to say it, Bessie. She knows it. You're an idiot, Minion. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're gonna let her talk to you like that, Billy? Yeah. Who is you, Porcelain? Don't play me like that. You know who I am, Athena. Why don't you pick on someone, well, maybe not your own size, but maybe someone your caliber. Why don't you fight me? You wanna fight someone? Fight me. Yeah. No, 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 this is not how this works, okay? You are a porcelain hussy. You come to my show, you wrestle with other porcelain hussies, and if you win, then you get a title match. That's not how this works, okay? So I don't know what pedestal you came off of, but it's definitely not the one in my show. Do you hear me? Now, I just asked for a fight. You're the one who mentioned it's for the ROH Women's Championship. Well, no, I like I the way that sounds. Why don't we make it for the ROH Women's Championship? Nah, I'm sorry. My, my head, my neck, my back. Are you scared? Minion? You know what? Mm -mm. Your minion has a point. She's All a right, human stop. being, by the way. Stop. Okay, fine. Fine. I will give you your match, okay? For the title on my show. Okay. Yay! But when I beat the brakes off you, I don't want to see any of this ever again. Okay. Let's roll out, family. Yeah. Congrats. Well, that was easier than I thought. Come on, Allison. Here, pulling at the neck, cutting off the wind, putting her body weight on Allison. Allison still fighting to her feet. Hair ripped right down to the floor. The dirty champion pulling out all she can to keep that title. I'll tell you what, though, she did it behind the referee's view. And this. That is indicative of how serious she takes Kay. She took her, took her a little more serious. There's Kay, straight to the yeah. forearm. And Athena, snake eyes into the corner. Every time Allison gets a chance, she has those feats of strength. That, oh, oh my God. God. Big close line into the back elbow. It's Kay catching the wrist. Wow, series of wrist locks into the neck breaker. The challenger on a roll here. That's what I mean. Every time Allison gets the control, she's hitting big impact moves, and that's what it's going to take to take the champion out. Off the ropes. The champ! Oh, that sky high! Two, could it be? Oh, two only. And Allison K feeling it. The momentum, the pendulum has clearly swung in her direction. The eyelash. She's lasted out, Riccoboni. She certainly is. Oh, smart move, though, by Athena. And Kay in trouble. Two. Little distractions like an eyelash that keep you away from those seconds and you're in the ring with a champion. Every second count. My oh. God, flat to the face. Champion's in trouble, Riccoboni. Right there to an ankle lock. Dead center. And Athena is indeed in trouble. Stepping Athena? over, trying to trap the opposite ankle. Yeah. Allison stepped say? over on the side that was closest to the rope as well, making Athena have to crawl to another side of the ring. And, and listen to the smart coaching from, from Billy Starks, but it's, it's wow, Allison that's, Kay. That's deep. Going left to right with the ankle. Athena's going to have to bridge under. There you go. And the heel of the boot from Athena, able to break things up, getting to the ropes here. Kay staying with it. It's Athena. Kay twisting up. My oh. God. Back to a feet, back to control. Let's see that again. Look at this. Kay ripping Athena, but Athena ripping one across the jaw. That shows the balance and the heart of our champion. No matter what we say about Athena, she is champion for a reason. And that display proved it. We might be seeing an old face with Kabani. Definitely was looking for the old face as she goes to the top. Kay smartly sends her back to size. Front face lock. Second rope on the inside. Pounding on the lower back. The Athena holding on to the rope. Athena's in a better control right now. Has that base under her. Allison's gonna have to rip her off if Allison wants control back. Now Athena back in control. There you go. Holding you on to that rope, hold everything. Oh, and Athena, oh face! Oh face plants the challenger like hook two, and that's it. Wow. The winner of this match and still Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena.
Vida. Caprice, there have been very few women that have put Athena to the test like that. You see Billy Starks ecstatic on the outside as Athena had to fight every inch of that victory tooth and nail. You know what, Allison Kay has nothing to be ashamed of. Came in in the deep end of the pool facing the champion. She will live to fight again, but I'm always impressed with our Ring of Honor Women's Champion. And that's Athena, let's see what she, oh, look at this. Oh, no, no, no. We have been spared of this. Yeah, but she wants Billy Stark to do it. No, Billy, you don't have to. No, Billy. This is minion training one on one. No, but Caprice, you and I. Billy doesn't want to. This is something dark in Athena's heart. Uh, yeah, Billy doesn't need to go there. Oh! Wow. Billy, you got stuck. Athena. Driving the forehead of the challenger into the you title sit belt. Here and you think about what you did. Athena victorious. Wow. Leaves with the Women's World Championship in tow. And a confused Billy Star. All right, thanks guys. I've got ROH Women's World Champion, Athena. Now, as of late, we've seen Billy Starks by your side. Are you satisfied with her minionship? Where's your shirt? Yeah. The shirt. 17 hours, rhinestones, glue, glitter, all the jet. Go ahead. At least someone here appreciates a gift. Look here, you little bitch. I've done everything for you. I've taken you under my wing and I've given you more passes than I have my own mother. I, I don't know what I went wrong. Three times in a row, you left me hanging. Three times in a row, Billy. Why? Why? Have I not been good to you? I did everything I was supposed to. Everything, everything. <sighs> you didn't know. That's it, she didn't know, Lexi. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna give you some home training, home training, home Lexi. Training. Home, yeah. training, home training, Billy. Training. You know, Minion training. You know what? Let's go. I got an idea. Okay. Good luck with your minion training. Billy Starks is a prodigy here in Ring of Honor, and she's aligned with the champion. I just don't know if she a tag team partner or is she a minion. Minion, 400,237 and three fourths. I'm not even a whole minion to you. This is an unstable genius. Bestie, tell her how this works. What Athena says goes. Slap her, throw her into something. I've done everything for you. I've taken you under my wing and I've given you more passes than I have my own mother. And Athena denying the crowd, Billy Starks. But Billy made the tag. Billy starts with a beautiful swan dive. Yeah, Athena is legit mad that she didn't get the pin. You left me hanging. Why? I did everything I was supposed to. No, Billy, you don't have to. No, Billy. Billy doesn't want to. This is something dark in Athena's heart. Have I not been good to you? You know what? We're going to give you some home training. Minion training. At this time, I'd like to bring in Billy Starks. Hey, Lexi. What's all this? Right, so uh, I have cameras here. You here for proof for Athena that I am officially serving you your minion to-do list uh, that needs to be done within two weeks of her absence. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, say Irish wrist lock, wrist, wrist lock, five times fast, get a single banana, punch and kick a tree, don't cheer for a single day, make someone cry. Lexi, I can't do this. Billy, look at me in my, my eyes. If you don't get this done in the next two weeks, the two of us, it's not gonna be great. Okay. I know. At least I can knock one thing off the list. I got a <laughs> banana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I I do have this for you. Um, 
you know you have to put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Athena and her t-shirts. Yes. Yeah. I hope you're happy, Athena. I'll go get this done, I guess. Good luck. We are here for one reason and one reason alone. You two have consistently failed me time and time again. So today, we are going to be doing minion training. Yes, Yes, minion minion overlord. overlord. All of the things you need to do to become a minion. Do you hear me? Yes, Yes, minion minion overlord. overlord. What do, what do, what do, what do, let's go. You want to be a minion? You want to be a minion, MIT, let's go. And standing ovation. Let's go, Billy, let's go, shine this up. Your job, don't laugh, no joy. I only want anger. I'm Willow. No love, no joy, no happiness. Do you understand me, Billy? You boo Willow, Billy, you boo her. You boo her, Billy. Is that a smile? Is that a smile? Huh? I'm Willow. Joy, hit the stairs. Stairs, let's go. graduated MIT and you will now be known as Lexi Nair Minion Bestie. Yeah. Great. Billy, you still suck. Angelina driving Athena down cover two. That size them had all the weight distribution it needed to drive the win out of the champion. Smart move by Athena with that move to keep the champion close as well. That chin lock trying to keep Athena from breathing, getting the, the air back to her. She knows she's driven it out of her, now she's trying to keep it out of her and ground her at the same time. The longest reigning Ring of Honor World Women's Champion of all time. The most defenses, the most proving ground. Challengers thwarted is in trouble here against the former champion Angelina Love. Ooh! In the second you on that, Rick Bonnie, that has made Athena so dangerous. You can't take away the title defenses because the number of title defenses, the part of it is because she has defeated opponents before they were able to challenge for the title in proving ground. Starks has found, her, found herself some Nittany Lion cheerleading oh. pops as Athena biting the arm of Angelina Love into a wrist lock takeover. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. No, oh, that's definitely out of the characteristics of Athena. But I don't I don't count anything past Athena anymore. I, I'm not even surprised anymore. A big swing and a chop there. Irish whip. It is reversed by Angelina off the rope. Wow. That's the momentum. Last thing you want to do with, with Athena is give her momentum. That's what Angelina did was give Athena momentum. And now Athena's capitalizing on it. And Billy Starks enjoying herself with the pom poms on the outside. Wow, the wow. front hands free and takes off the jaw of Angelina. I don't know, Rick Abani. There's only a couple of reasons why Athena goes to the top rope. Well, I think I know one. Oh! I think Billy Starks distracted Athena with those pom-poms. 
Athena didn't look pleased. She, she took a glance over at Athena. I mean, it, the matches can change in split seconds. It, a glance is all it takes. It's just one look. Now Athena in trouble. The former women's world champion has got Athena on her shoulders. Waist lock here into the corner. It's Athena charging in. Oh, and that may have. Oh, there's that pump kick. The pump kick. She's finished so many opponents with this. Two, we got a new champion. Oh, two count only. Billy Starks almost trying to break up the pin. Angelina has finished as defended titles with that Barry kick. Athena in a lot of trouble, and if I know Angelina, she's not going to stop. She's going to continue to onslaught. But you can see that Angelina is distracted by Billy Starks, allowing the champion to recover. A waist lock, standing switch. It's rolling through. Athena with a oh, yeah. knees to the face. That's going to be Knocks enough. Out Angelina, yeah. and that is three. The winner of this match and still Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. What a defense, what a game challenger. Angelina Love came in with a great game plan. But Athena able to make it 39 in a row in Ring of Honor competition. Tell you what, you can always come in with a great, a great game plan, and I believe the game plan worked well for Angelina. It's just the champion had another game plan with momentum already attached to it and an added distraction that may help her retain even longer. Minion in training, Billy Starks might not have done everything that the champion wanted her to do, but the champion retains. Uh, and there's the whistle to Coach Athena. Tell you what, the Gen Z kids with the TikTok and all that fun stuff. Athena may have her hands full, but she has a Prada jet on her hands, that's for sure. Athena picks up win number 39 in a row. Fans, so right now we're going to head backstage to Lexi Nair, who's standing by with the debuting tag team. Oh, get wow. it! it. wheel into an air raid crash, are you kidding me? There is no one like Lady Frost. And Caprice, put on your cold gear. It's already cold, Ricky Buddy. Well, it's about to get frosty. Whoa! That's it. That's got to do it. Cover two. Wait a minute. And that certainly would have been it. That's a perfectly timed distraction by Athena. And I almost feel like Athena wants Billy Sparks to win so Athena doesn't have to face Lady Frost. Oh, wait a minute. Roll up here. At least that's a great observation. My God, those double hooks. Wow. Oh. That is beautiful. Wow. Hooks the line, too. And that's it. What was that? The winner of this match, Billy Sparks. Billy Stark survives the temperature drop with help from Athena and then debuts what can only be referenced as one of the best finishing moves we've seen in quite some time. What about the Stark's clash? Can we call it that? Oh! -ho -ho. Did Athena teach her that? I... Was that? Oh, come on. And we don't. No, we don't you need to. to Did you hear that? She said, do you want to hit her? Come on. What? Yeah, this is the part that tears Billy Starks. Because we know Billy Starks is not won any part of this. And Athena just having a way with Lady Frost. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Driving Lady Frost's spine into that pointed edge of the barricade. Fans that are encouraging Athena to add to the injury. This match is over. Yeah, it has been long over. If it was up to Billy Starks, it would have been a code of honor, and they would have walked to the back. Instead, Billy pleading with Athena. The hatred that I was saying that Athena has for Lady Frost. 
And Billy just pleading and begging. It's almost like an episode of Cobra Kai here. And good for you, Billy. Good for you. And maybe Athena can learn something from Billy. Maybe this 18-year-old prodigy can teach the undefeated champion something here. Takes confidence to stand up against your coach. just defeated of an unceremonious beatdown. Tell you what, I'm gonna plant a seed here, Rick Abadi. Billy Stars keep hanging around this champion, she could learn her, but I wanna take you now to Lex Extended with Allison Kate. Here with my MIT buddy, Billy Starks. You've had an epic return here tonight on Honor Club, picking up a big win. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Lexi. I'm just, so happy to do this all on my own. Well, technically, Athena kind of pulled you out of that pit and helped you in. What are you talking about? She was there, ringside, and then at the very end, you know, she just... You got something to say, MIT number two? No. Oh, so I guess you don't like the way that I handled business after your match, huh? No. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Because you sat there and did nothing. I already won. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what we do. We win at all costs, and then we deter any porcelain hussy from stepping in our path in the future. If you don't understand that, Billy, maybe we need more minion training. You're young. You're stupid. Everyone's going to step on you, and me and Bessie here are trying to bring you out of the gutter. But you know what? I think you need a first-hand example. And I'm going to give you a front row seat. So next week, I'm going to put my Ring of Honor Women's World Championship on the line versus Layla Hirsch. And I'm going to set an example for this family. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is an eight-person mixed tag team match set for one ball with a 20-minute time limit. Team number one, representing Shane Taylor Promotions, Shane Taylor and Tiger Style, Lee Moriarty. Their partners, Mercedes Martinez and Diamante. Hello, fans. Welcome to the Wrestle Dream Zero Hour. I'm Excalibur, joined by Nigel McGuinness and the great Jim Ross Jr. Antonio Noki. I mean, he, a true trailblazer in our sport. He meant so much to One of the great thrills in my 50-year career was meeting, conversing, and listening to Antonio Noki. Uh, really, somebody that's left a, a, such a monumental impact on professional wrestling, and we probably wouldn't be here without him today, Nigel. Inspiration, not just in Japan, but worldwide. Their opponents, first, Billy Starks, and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, the following goddess, Athena. That is a very unique match to kick off the Wrestle Dream Zero Hour, an eight-person mixed tag team match. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Wrestling out of Wichita, Falls, Texas, weighing 348 pounds, for he is limitless, Keith Lee. Well, that's the guy I would buy stock in. Yeah, Keith Lee. Big and athletic, he's hungry. And I mean hungry. Russell out of Tokyo, Japan, weighing 238 pounds, 
Satoshi Kojima. Satoshi Kojima fans of AEW have seen him compete in our ring before. Nigel, amongst the heaviest hitters of his generation of New Japan Pro Wrestling. He certainly is a man who honors the strong style tradition that Antonio Inoki made famous. So you can see there at the back of your screen, those lariats come as tough as anyone who's ever thrown one, me included. You know, the physicality and the philosophy of Mr. Inoki's company in the early going was so amazing that a lot of guys were reluctant to wrestle there because it was so physical. You get banged up, get rattled and bruised, and uh, that served their company well, and it still does. Yeah, you had to be very tough to make it in Japan. Legends like Stan Hansen, Bruiser Brody, made their living on that side of the Pacific. Yeah, the Bumps, Dick Murdoch, a lot of guys that I grew up with we're wrestling uh, from Mr. Inoki in one form or another. And fans, a lot of intertwining threads in this eight-person mixed tag team matchup. You have Athena, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, the dominant champion, and that Billy Starks, Athena's minion in training as the fans here in Seattle chanting, uh, chanting we want bread to Satoshi Kojima, who is, of course, the leader of Bread Club, but also... I won't explain that. Um, Bread Club is, uh, Kojima, he's just a big fan of, of baked goods, of, of patisserie, of, uh, of all sorts of bread in, in, in its many forms. And so he's uh, really found a, a huge social media following as a result of that. As I wouldn't mind doing that with ribs. <laughs> Rib Club. <laughs> I've been one of those before. Oh, wow. As Billy Starks getting worked over in the corner. And this is a mixed tag team match, so the women will only compete with the women. The Correct. men will only compete with the men. And that makes it simpler and makes it safer, quite frankly. Because some of these cats would take advantage of the rules if given the opportunity. Whoa, wow. Uh, the Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Oh! Thought she had the better. And fans, we are just under 50 minutes away from Wrestle Dream on pay per view. You can catch it on cable and satellite through traditional providers. It's live in select theaters across the country, live in select Dave, Dave and Buster's locations, Tom's Watch Bar locations, and internationally on Fight TV, Sky, Italia, PPV.com, and YouTube.com. Wrestle Dream coming your way at the top of the hour. It's quite honestly as simply as pushing a button in many systems. That's how easy it is to align yourself. Whoa. Look at that. Tandem offense by Billy Starks and Athena taking out Diamante and Mercedes Martinez on the outside. I keep waiting for Athena to get on a real red hot roll because she's got all the athletic ability to accomplish whatever the hell she wants. Well, she is the Ring of Honor Women's Champion and the most dominant Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Oh, she wants a bit of Shane Taylor. Oh, the official Rick Knox gonna not going to allow that. As you shouldn't. And this is a story I want to draw attention to. Shane Taylor and Keith Lee. They used to be tag team partners for, for quite a long time in Ring of Honor, and then Shane Taylor re-signing with Ring of Honor, Keith Lee deciding to part ways, and a lot of bad blood, a lot of hurt feelings between these two men as they now sharing the ring in this eight-person mixed tag team match. And Shane Taylor is the type of cat that bled, lived, and breathed Ring of Honor. Oh! Left hand, that's the boxing not, background of Shane Taylor coming into play. That's not going to do anybody any favors. A shot there. Man, Keith Lee is an amazing athlete. Whoa. Showing you just how amazing. He's just terrific. He's a you know, athletic big men are a, a rarity in pro wrestling now anymore. Inside the ring, Lee Moriarty Look at this. trying to pull one over on Keith Lee and Shane Taylor. Boom. And again, the boxing background coming into play. Shane Taylor from the mean streets of Cleveland. Learned boxing in his youth and certainly is more than capable to put it to use. Now the quick tag out to Lee Moriarty, very recently joining Shane Taylor promotions. The group led by the eponymous Shane Taylor. But Lee Moriarty, very technically gifted, but now we're seeing a little more aggression coming out of him. Taylor, one of the great technicians of the game. I'm sure we'll be watching Brian Danielson and Zack Sabre Jr. later tonight. I'll tell you something, this pay-per-view tonight, only in a few minutes, a few minutes away, 
It's going to be amazing. The matchups, the pairings, the, the contrast in styles. I can't wait. Certainly living up to the name Wrestle Dream as Kojima mows down Moriarty. And now Kojima with Moriarty in the corner. The rapid fire machine gun chops lighten up Lee. Satoshi Kojima just battering the chest of Lee Moriarty. Fans are loving it here in Seattle. And Nigel, even for a well-conditioned athlete like, like Lee Moriarty, to have those chops fired in, that's got to affect your breathing. Yeah, and every time the percussion of that shot knocks some little bit out the wind out of you, makes it a bit more hard to breathe. Kojima, the switch and the DDT spike Moriarty. And actually done, could be enough. The cover and Diamante oh, in there to that. break up the pinning predicament, but Billy oh. Starks, oh, oh my goodness. What a shot. Swung for the fence. Mercedes Martinez, take it down, Athena, Billy Starks. You know, the crowd's still arriving here tonight, fellas, but the enthusiasm that we can feel this early is to me amazing. The atmosphere tonight on pay-per-view is going to be something that none of us want to miss. Shane Taylor, big headbutt, had staggered Kojima. Kojima very unsteady on his feet, and now Keith Lee! Whoa! I'm buying stock in Keith Lee, that's all I'm saying. What a feat of strength by Keith Lee. Taking down his former partner. And now Moriarty, though, drop kick to the knee. Athena off the top with the offense! <laughs> Moriarty! That really puts the referee in a tough spot because all that was illegal. But Keith Lee! Oh, wow! Like thunder echoing throughout the arena. And now Satoshi Kojima strips off the elbow. Pam! Oh. Lariat connects! Oh, boom! What a big old shot that was! And there was plenty! The winner to the fans, the team of Satoshi Kojima, Keith Lee, Billy Starks, and the ROH Women's World Champion, Athena! And they cast the thousands. Yeah, I know you production. talked about the strength of Satoshi Kojima's lariat. Yeah, synonymous with Kojima. So many other big men in Japan, that as effective as any of them. JR, I love the team of Keith Lee and Satoshi Kojima. Two big guys that can hit yeah. real hard. Heavy handed guys with competitive spirit. Oh, triangle show, triangle show. Athena has, has smartly wiggled the shoulders to put the pressure on the body instead of the carotid artery there, Caprice. Yeah, Layla Hurst not able to cross those knees, though. So Layla Hurst is really just hanging on. That's why the pressure's steep. Athena's going to try to rip her up. There you go. Oh, the power of Athena. Two, one. Oh. My God, that's a lot of strength from Athena. Layla Hurst is a compacted individual. Short and she's strong. She's able, she has a low center of gravity to be able to pull all that up at one time. That shows the strength and the ability and the heart of our champ. And Caprice, this is only our opening contest here tonight. My guy with the body, I'm gonna need something to drink. Our main event and all-star six-man tag match. SAP Gringo Loco take a commander, Gravity Metal League. We have a four-corner tag team bout. Oh my goodness, we have Billy Starks later again, Trisha Dora. But these two women wanted to wrestle first. They wanted to set the pace. They wanted to show us what Ring of Honor is all about. Yeah, I don't know if I want to trade punches with Layla Hurst or Athena, but I am proud to see Layla Hurst this deep in the water. Oh my gosh, she's realizing now where she's at. Four up through the chest of Athena. Ooh. And look at Athena. It's the challenger, Layla Hirsch with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just driving those forearms down through the champion. Oh! That's the second test to the chin that Layla Hirsch has. Layla Hirsch still on her feet. Oh, wait a minute. Disarm into the cross face. Cross face. Oh, Hirsch is so close. Trying to swing that hip out. Trying to switch. She does. First swing the hip into a pinning combination. That's a two count there. Holds on to the wrist. Holds on to the wrist. Look at the left eye. Whoa. No, into the arm bar. Into the arm it's bar. Straight. It's straight. 
just locking it in. It's Athena trying with the S grip here to prevent the hyperextension. Athena is fighting for everything she has. She's down to a fingernail. Oh, it's stretched out again. Arm is extended. Arm is extended. Athena. Wow. Oh, nice press. Nice press. Put the face. This is fighting dirty right here. She's ripping at her cheek. But it's legal. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. That's the fourth test to the chin. And Hirsch, Hirsch is in a bad way here. And now just trying to intimidate Mike Posey. There are some matches that brings an opponent out. This is the coming out match of Layla Hirsch. We're gonna lose Layla Hirsch as it's shown herself to be a championship caliber wrestler. Oh! Our current champion shows why she's still champion. The gas tank, the reserve of Athena, almost unparalleled, unmatched. The longer this match goes, it benefits Athena, but one mistake and the title could be around the waist of Hirsch. We're in dangerous territory here, Caprice. Dangerous territory. I've never seen Layla Hurst on the rope with Kabani. And Seattle coming alive. This is indeed awesome. Justified, this is awesome chance. Athena's had his trap on that turnbuckle. Whoa! And she's a chance to cover. Super cartwheel German suplex. And Layla Hurst is going up top. Neil Kick. Neil Kick plays the champ. Layla. Oh. Nobody home. Went for it all. Athena. Despicable knee. Plants the challenger to the champion retains. This match and still Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena! Athena becomes the first wrestler in Women's Ring of Honor competition history to reach 40, 4, 0, and 0. And she did so, you know, we said it with Sky Blue, we said it with Willow Nightingale, we said it with Kira Hogan. Wrestlers bring their best fight to the champion, but the champion, Athena, remains on top. There's something else about Athena, which you say in that Rick Bonnie. Athena pulls the best out of every one oh. of her competitors. My God. Every time I think the match is over, this is what happens. Oh, uh, Billy, Billy Starks, the protege, the minion in training. Is, is trying to discourage this behavior. But well, we know what comes next. Well, well, Caprice, last week, last week, Billy was able to, to talk some sense. Hey, Rick Bonnie, every time Billy Stark says Athena name, Athena looks at Billy Starks. Like, Billy Starks has Athena's attention. Which not everybody can say that. Oh! Oh, and, and Athena. Maybe let what? Maybe Billy Starks is rubbing off with a champion. I mean, even even Groot in Despicable Me and the Minions, even he had a soft side at some point. Are we seeing this dominant champion? Oh, there's Maria Canales Bennett. Yeah. Who told Layla that maybe she wasn't quite ready? Now I got a bone to pick. Set. If Maria wants to bring that discussion, it's process over outcome. I think Layla's ready. Layla proved to the world she's a world title contender. Here we are once again, Minion Training Session 2. It's like Minion Training 1, but only harder. You know, when Lexi showed a lot of promise, but Philly, <laughs> Billy, <laughs> turn around! Stick it out. Billy still sucks. I'm gonna <laughs> Oh, God. No, no, no. <laughs> Hit the stairs! Let's go, ladies! One, two! One, two! Let's go! So, Minion Training is a program that I designed for Minion Empowerment. And you know, I don't just do it all myself. I listen to others. I take advice from others because that's what... Athena's been great. Yeah. She's kind, understanding, passionate, patient. I mean, you really can't say that a word about the girl. Yeah. What would you say she is to us, though? It's like a mentor. 
Okay. Got a mentor. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. You either go this way or that yeah. way, and then whichever way you do. You tell me what to do! Yeah! yeah! Athena! Athena! Sing with your chest, I Billy. did! Well, <laughs> it's surprising. Lexi came into this with no experience, and she's honestly been killing it. She's amazing. <sighs> Athena's tough, but I'm just happy to have Lexi here. Yeah, it's just disappointing. Billy's sloppy, her cardio sucks. She just doesn't have what it takes. And I guess this is gonna conclude minion training number two. Lexi, you pass with flying colors. Billy, you still suck. And for that, you get one more very special task to do as punishment. <sighs> TK, my name's Willow Nightingale, and I'm a big loser. Well, nice front face lock into the suplex there. Float over, lateral press. Two. A two count there. Oh, man, that's a beautiful float over with wrist control. Is that a tantrum from Billy Starks? Well, it certainly seemed like it. What? And this is... It's almost like they're melding into one another. And Billy Starks and Athena... As the uncomfortable behavior mm. leads to an opening for Trish, who's using those wow. powerful legs. Oh, Stars able to avoid that lariat. Nice kick by Stars. The boys again. Waist lock here, standing switch. It's Adora, who has Billy. Wheel by to a German cover. Two. Wow. My God, the control on the wrist that Trisha Dora had and that low German holding on. Trisha Dora feels it, but needs to capitalize on this rare state that Billy Starks is in. And Sathena now with Billy Starks. Ooh, excuse me, Adora with Billy Starks. Swing and a miss on the right. Athena watching from the outside of the forum connects. Athena talking down to Billy Starks. That can't be motivating, Caprice. Well, I don't know if she's talking down. It's saying get it together. That's just hard coaching. It's like tough love, Rickabani. It's not because you're being mean. It's because you wake an opponent. This hurts, Rickabani. Billy Starks is stuck between the bottom rope and Trish Adora's hips. Nowhere to go there. No give. That's a lot of pressure on the neck. You see a firewoman's carry position there. It's Starks able to scramble out of it, go to the ropes here. And Stefan Smith making sure Starks can continue. Starks back to her feet, connects on Adora with a forearm. That was, de that was desperation out of Billy Stark, that forearm there. Billy Stark's really having to dig deep here. Trisha Dora still trying to find her feet. And it's Starks, second rope on the inside, maybe looking to go all the way to the top. She does. That's a smart inside climb. Most people go to the outside. Oh! oh. And that swanton, she won the tag team match with a couple of weeks ago with Athena, blocked by the knees of Adora. Pump kick Duck. misses, rolls up. Two, Billy Starks almost gets a three. Right back to her feet. The wow, pulls her right in. Rick oh, Caprice. Caprice. Star 10. Star 10 indeed. Oh, look at, for, look at this. The bridge. Oh, wow, that's it. The winner of this match by submission, Billy Starks. And Billy Starks, who won her last bout with that double underhook, she calls it the star 10, plants Adora. And there's there's noticeable joy for Athena here. This is another, a, a, a height of aggression from Billy Starks as well. You can see that uh, Athena is rubbing off on Billy Starks and maybe Billy Starks is rubbing off on Athena. Uh, I've never seen the aggression out of Billy Starks, but it's getting her a win, Rickabani, and your win column, Billy Starks. Did you hear that, though? More stairs? She just won the match. Is she going to make a run? Uh oh. Front face lock here. Athena. Oh, my oh, God. God. Let's call that a gourd buster. 
how you stop somebody in the tracks, man. You get an opportunity at Ring of Honor, and then you realize you're facing the champion. You come with all you got. Ooh. Just, just that second that she used, that Maserati used to taunt the fans, cost her so much. She'll regret that for the rest of the match. And Athena dominating right now with a big time form. Much like my son playing as Dan Housen, my daughter playing as Hook, dominate me in AEW oh. Fight Forever. Available now on your favorite video game systems as Maserati finds an opening here. Right, she just pushed Athena off the apron. Oh, right in front of us here. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, no. What? Wait. Dude. No way. Oh, my God. That was a pit. Oh, God. She may have knocked Maserati out cold. My God. You, you didn't really need to see that. You could feel it when you heard it. The thud went through my feet, Rick oh, oh, no. She's no. not fitting. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Get her back in the rain, Athena. Oh, my goodness. You see Posey checking the pulse of Maserati. As any understanding human would, it, it, Posey, you, you might have to. Whenever you see the referee grab the hand of an opponent, the referee is checking to make sure the opponent is capable of still going. It, you have to give the squeeze to say, I'm OK. So Maserati's still in this fight, but my God, she's taking so much damage. I don't see how she can come back from this Riccoboni. Think about the wind, the back. Oh, my oh. goodness, the neck snapping down. Oh, God. And this is but one inch. Oh, athletic mats on the outside here. These are the reasons why nobody has gotten past the proving ground of Athena. 40 and 0 hit that historic milestone last week, defeating Layla Hirsch now. That knee into that spine. Caprice, beautiful game plan here because that's exactly the part of the spine that connected first on the outside. There's a literal ice rink here just at the Mavericks Center. The scary thing about Athena is that she is a methodical juggernaut. She's tearing you apart methodically. She knows exactly what she's doing at all times. And we see a wrist lock here. Irish whip off the ropes. Athena charging in. Maserati, big there kick you here. Go. There Mas you go. Ken Make Maserati. the best out of it. Can she get back into this match here? Flying head scissor. Oh. She turned around. Turned around. That's the it. That's out. it. Yeah. And. Whoa. Wow. That's and the second time Maserati had an opening, hit a good move, and turned her back to the champion. And that is relative inexperience. I mean, Athena has been at the top of the mountain. Get alone in the game. Yeah, the thing about it, Riccoboni, is you can do that in a lot of places, but you can't. Athena's a whole nother level. And scooping up Maserati. Trap. And, oh, my goodness. It's a scary trap right here. You, you anchor the trap. Oh, my God. Spine tap kicks. Oh, my God. Just sending pins and needles down the arms, elbows, and hands of Maserati. Athena, though, no one home. Maserati somehow finding yeah, a way. She keeps finding lights, man. She just need to keep them coming. Got that knee coming. Don't look around. Keep coming, Maserati. Get it to her. There you go. Collapsing Athena in the corner. Sends Athena, the champion, to the center. Mm. Caprice, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe we're over five minutes into this bout. Yeah, we are. And Maserati. Yeah, she turned her back again. You can't do that. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's going to be enough. She's going to put her away right here. And look at this choke here. As Billy Starks, Starks yelling choker. Yeah, Starks, Starks is rubbing off. On a I mean, the champion's rubbing, rubbing off on Starks. She's Maserati, that's it. Wow. The winner of this match, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Oh, come on, stop. Athena. No, come on. Come on. And into the cross face. She went from the choke to that high double wrist lock. And what is Billy? Oh, no. Billy might be no. saving her life. Billy's keeping her safe, oh. keeping her from crashing her face yeah. from the title. Oh, I, oh she, goodness. She just hit my God. Well, I, I thought for a minute. She came. I thought that Billy. Right, was gonna, oh my goodness. Look, look. She just, she just made a human disappear. I don't know, I think she left. And Billy. 
This is like Babe the Pig. <laughs> she went. Oh. not be lying. I'm not lying. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. I know you're young, but you're going to find out over time. This is brought to you on Honor Club by the benefit of video recording. And unfortunately, Athena will be able to see just what happened. But here tonight, 41 and 0 under the Ring of Honor banner, the most dominant, decorated with a champion in the history of ROH, Athena picks up the victory. I am here in my minion uniform and my MIT buddy Billy Starks has a match tonight right here on Ring of Honor. I'm so excited about my match tonight, but I want to talk about minion training part two, Lexi. Okay. You said I suck. No, I didn't say you suck. I just said that maybe there was some things to work on. and I just, That's, She did say it. I did. She I heard it. I heard Diamante's it. Yep. heard it. She I said your it. cardio was horrible, mm -hmm. oh, that you suck, mm -hmm. that you're not a good wrestler, mm -hmm. that Athena's her bestie, I that you're not really a minion. I didn't say anything. But no, listen, I'm a minion. Listen, I'm going to go to the way. Hold, hold yeah. this. Yeah. Like, how long you think that you can trust Athena for? Because any second now, she's going to turn her back she's, on you. You can't it's trust Athena. Happen. She's no good. Mm -hmm. I've known her for a long time. She's turned her back on me many times. Yep. That's my family you're talking about. That's family? Who's got the bestie shirt on? I don't I, I see it on you. She can have one. I don't see nothing on you. Uh, family? Hey, <laughs> not even this. Back up. Back up. Check if there's any money in there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Don't let them get in your head. Yeah. Good luck right. tonight. Thanks, Lexi. Police. Could it be Rochelle's night as Billy Starks into the corner? Bit of a choke, very pleased with herself. And on last week's minion training, Caprice, yeah, it appeared Lexi Nair was sort of taking the minion training a little oh, better. God. Ooh, Riveter right there. That's the mom of wrestling right there. Mm. Oh, goodness. Wow, big clothesline there. And Billy Starks taking orders. Looking for the star 10. No, no one home. Whoa. That knee went right to the nose of Riveter. Oh, it's the that arms. star 10. On to the star 10. You better find the camera. Wow, look at this. Locking in. That cross face. Wow. The winner of this match by submission, Billy Starks. So much more aggressive from Billy Starks. I'll tell you what, Billy Starks is learning a lot from Athena. Certainly is. A quick victory in aggressive fashion. And, and Athena actually looks pleased. Yeah, she, she, she said, good job. That it actually came out of Athena about it. She said, good job. Look at the high five, bro. Yeah. Uh, leaving Billy Starks hanging. And Athena now ordering Billy to the back. And this relationship appears to be mutual, but mutually beneficial in some ways. And they're both rubbing off on each other. Oh, hold on. Who, Wait a second. Who's behind? Oh, goodness. Mercedes Martinez attacks Billy Starks. It's Diamante with the wall chair. Some guerrilla warfare here. Oh, oh my God. Diamante just DDT the champion. This is your trainer. Huh? Next, Mercedes Billy. makes Billy watch. Oh. Athena is out cold, Riccoboni. And the champion is out cold. Left wing next to the champion. It's her protege, Billy Starks. Yeah. <laughs> Calling her shots. That's what Martinez just did. Do you two even know why we're here, minions, in training? Do you know why we're here? What's going hey. on? We are having a MIM, a minion empowerment meeting. Because last week, Diabla and that retired hussy Mercedes dropped us. And I don't like when people get the better of me. Do you, minion mm -mm. in training number two? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, like so you are facing Diablo tonight. Mm -hmm. Someone that I gave advice and damn, I hate that it turned against me. So what are you gonna do when you go out to that ring? I said, what are you gonna do? Shake her hand? No, baddest one swings first. Baddest one, 
Baddest one Baddest swings first. One. Right. Are you bad, Billy? Mm -hmm. Because yes. Diablo is bad, but my minion right here, my minion, oh. is the baddest. Yes, yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. The baddest. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna swing first. That's right. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna we're swing gonna swing first. first because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go. Now, one, two. You punch ah. her square in the face, right between the eyes, Billy. <sighs> she still sucks. Let's go. Unbelievable. Right forearm connects. Wow, neck breaker. And Diamante. As Starks here, mounting Billy Starks. It's Diamante driving the fists in. And right now, it's Diamante in control. Ooh. Oh, come on. Look at this, it's Diamante. And big double axe handle. I understand Caprice went to the back to speak with Ethan Page, maybe find him for perhaps an exclusive. We will find out if Caprice was able to get a word with Ethan Page. Oh, now it is Billy Starks driven in to the second turnbuckle. Irish whip now into the corner. Trouble here. And look at this. Standing Dragon Sleeper using that height advantage of Billy Starks against her is Diamante driving that knee. And around goes Starks. Big time neck breaker. Cover. One, two. Diamante with this cravat here. Oh, and you hear Athena trying to encourage in her own way. Billy Starks, snap mare, it's Diamante. Ooh. Off the ropes, oh goodness, shotgun, drop kick, cover, two. Count on. And you hear the words of encouragement from Mercedes. You hear Athena with a slightly different tone. Ooh, just driving now into the shoulder. Right now, Billy Starks in a lot of trouble. That undefeated streak in jeopardy here as Diamante. Big time knife edge chop. Woo! European uppercut. And Diamante in the corner, and again, driving through the jaw. And Martinez saying, take a bow. Diamante charging in, big boots caught. Just a little too early on that. That is the timing and presence of a veteran like Diamante who hooks the leg. Cover one, two. Oh, man. And Caprice Coleman. Yeah. We'd like to welcome you back. I know you went backstage to try and get a word with Ethan Page. I tell you what, that's, that's frustration, man. Trying to hold up who you are with that type of adversity, but he'll be back. I'm sorry about that with the body. That's all good. I know you hated to miss the beginning of this match, but it's been all Diamante. And there's been, there's been very, ooh! There's been moments in this match, Caprice, where it's been very apparent that Diamante has the experience edge and that this tough love isn't quite working, I think, the way Athena had anticipated. But well, that's the thing with Diamante. Diamante is a veteran. People overlook that because of the way she looks. Been in the sport a long time. And any time a veteran is going against somebody like Billy Starks, they, they're trying to outshow her, outproof her, because that is a real thing. These guys, these blue chips come in and they take the veteran's job to feel like it's a threat for Cabani. Ooh. And Starks. Swing and a miss on the kick. 
Oh, big knee. And Diamante and Starks going one for one here. Wheelbarrow. Two. Got her. Wow. Oh, winner of this match. Do it. Oh, come on yeah. back. Again. Absolutely ridiculous. Athena, the women's world champion. This is becoming a war. Ooh. Athena doing everything she can to protect. But think about it, Riccoboni. Athena is fighting for Billy. And I never thought we'd hear that sentence. Oh, goodness, Diamante driving that forearm in. And now going to town on Athena. And the fallen Billy Starks, all she can do is watch. Tries to get back to her feet, sent back down. And Mercedes. Look, what is she looking for under the ring? She's looking for anything she wants, Rick Abani. This is the way you call your shots. I tell you what, Martinez never got her title shot back from Athena. And if this is the way you get it, this is the way you do it, Rick Abani. But I don't agree with it. But Athena's fighting with everything she's got. Oh, oh. Both chairs up. And Billy clears Diamante. We got double chairs. And we have every referee we could find. Rick Knox, Bryce Remsburg, Brandon Martinez, Devon Smith, Mike Posey. It's all falling apart here. The last time we saw these four in the ring, Athena was knocked out. And this time it's Athena and Billy Stark standing tall. If a picture it's worth a thousand words. This is a rivalry I didn't know I wanted to see, and now I can't get enough of it. Single leg lariat there. It has been Martinez who believes she's the true number one contender who did not get her title shot. Great combination. The history between Martinez and Athena. Oh! And the history with Diamante and Athena. It was a couple of weeks ago that Diamante came awfully close. This is the third impact to the head of Athena, Riccoboni. Hooks the leg, great cover. It starts though just in the nick of time. Did you see that low shoulder roll though? Certainly did. Oh, and look at Billy Stark standing tall to the thrust. But oh. Martinez just too strong. Tell you what, Riccobindo, Billy Starks is having to come to save Athena on a lot of these chances. And Athena's getting the brunt of some huge impact moves just like that one. Cover! Two great combination! Billy Starks just in the nick of time. Caprice, what you said is very important. Athena has looked down her nose at points at the younger Billy Starks. Sure, Starks has a lot to learn. But Starks is shaking it off, coming to the defense of the Women's World Champion. And she has saved this team right now. She's been the MVP and the reason they're still in this match. Absolutely. And if you look at Athena, if I, from my eyes, Athena did not kick out of that last move. Billy Starks saved her. And it's, and it's Diamante. And the kind of chaos that we're seeing is indicative of the Stadium Stampede match you would see in Fight Forever. I play it on PlayStation 5. Ooh, Hook, Danhausen just added so many great AEW stars. Wow. Former Ring of Honor World Champs like Adam Cole in the game as well. Played on all your favorite systems. No playing here, though, as the big drop kick in the corner, Caprice. Great own character, too. I like that part. <laughs> I made myself. We got two characters really unloading here on Billy Starks. Ooh. Ooh. They have isolated Billy Starks, and there's not much Athena can do about it. Like I said, this game plan is working anytime. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. Big boot. And these tornado rules have benefited Martinez. And Diamante to start, but now it's Athena and Billy Stark trying to take advantage. Combination spear. Oh, the 
forearm, though, changes the trajectory. Swing and a miss. Athena catches Diamante. Calling for Billy. Nice. Athena and Billy on the same page. Looking like a well oiled machine. They're back in this bout. Gonna get some hustle and flow out of this move, Rick and Bonnie. <laughs> Certainly are. Double suplex. And I'm not saying what the crowd was saying. I don't want to get in any trouble. Big thrust kick to the midsection. I'm just saying. Billy Starks is in charge. Billy Starks is in charge. Say you're in charge. Spinning heel kick. Picks the head up of the former women's world champion wow. DDT. Look at this combination. Wow. Whoa. Look at the strength of Athena. Diamante back up again. Sydney. Diamante down. Rolling over, hooks the leg, two, wow. Athena realizes she is in a deep one, and Billy Starks is realizing it too, but I am honored at watching how Athena and Billy Starks are working so well together against this well-oiled machine. I'll tell you what, this match, the pendulum has swung back and forth. And right now, the champion and her protege, the 18-year-old Billy Starks, are in control. But these moments can be fleeting here, Caprice. Their strategy seemed to get knocked off a little off kilter when Martinez and Diamante brought the heat at the beginning of the match. They brought the fire, maybe caught them off guard. They got to pick a lane and stay in it if they want to win this bout. I tell you what, in these tornado matches, Riccoboni, the name of the game is to get one of the opponents on the outside of the ring so you can focus on the other opponent in the middle of the ring. That's what Martinez and Diamante has been able to do. Athena and Billy Starks have been keeping their opponents inside the ring. And a series of attacks in the corner. Billy Starks celebrating here. He's doing a lot of celebratory movement, Rukabani. She has. But I'll tell you what, it's, it's almost like that, a dog with a shock collar, you know what I mean? She's. She's getting so used to being yelled at by Athena. She does some right. Big body slam. She wants to celebrate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Standing moonsault there. What you talking about? Whoa. Whoa. Bit of a rocket launcher there. Hooks the outside leg to the Martinez. It, with, with Billy Stars, would that be a shooting star? Ah. The shooting stars. I like it. <laughs> As Athena does not like Mercedes Martinez, the woman that says she is the rightful number one contender. Hadn't got a rematch since final battle last year. That look in Athena's eyes is let's put this together. Mm. The chance of light her up. First whoop that trick and now light her up, but it's Diamante doing the lighting up. I thought you couldn't say that. Uh, as long as there's no, you know, target of the, I can't say who is the T word. Well, the crowd at it again <laughs> here in Memphis, home of the Blues, and whoop that trick as in the corner. Look at this, Starks and Athena, but it's Martinez bringing things up. Great decision on the suplex. Yeah, Starks and Athena was going for a double suplex out the top. Martinez breaking that up. Now she has Billy Starks in the power bomb position, putting Diamante in a great position as well. Hung out to try. My God, Whoa. power bomb blockbuster. Two, got her. The winners of this match are team member Mercedes Martinez and Diamante. And, and Athena is beside herself because Caprice is just sinking in with me. I don't think I've ever seen this before at Ring of Honor with Cabani. Athena, she's never dropped the decision on Ring of Honor. It's single. Oh! The women's champ still undefeated in single action. As Mercedes Martinez holds the title high. Wow, what a way to ask for a rematch after a win against the champion's team. Martinez tosses the belt back defiantly. 
What a win for Martinez and Diamante. If you say you want a title shot, that is one way to stake your one claim. Step closer to getting that. Right here. New champ. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Huge win. Athena's called another Mim. I know. I'm scared. I. I don't. I don't think this is gonna be. What good. the hell? What the hell, Billy? What was that out there? We lost. You cost me my first loss in Ring of Honor. You did. Not Diabla. Not that. What that. That hussy Mercedes, you! Because you suck, you are trash. And time and time again, I try to build you up, but yet you just, you just suck, Billy! It's not my fault! Who are you talking to? If it weren't for me, you'd be on Dynamite, or Rampage, or Collision, being the 18-year-old sensation that loses every match. But yeah, here I am, trying to build you up, trying to pull you out of the gutter like the trash that you are to be something special. And what do you do in return? You lose! You lose! Here I thought you were my equal, Billy! And no! You don't talk, you listen! Because now I have to defend my Ring of Honor Women's World Championship against that porcelain, overhyped, should be retired by now, hussy Mercedes Martinez. And it's all your fault, I'm Billy. Sorry. Get it together! <laughs> 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 Athena trying to get the crowd involved here. As Athena off the ropes, diving through, crashing into the ringside area. Athena giving herself up, Caprice, we gotta see that again. And great footwork to, to get that last push yeah. through the bottom and middle rope. That's exactly what's getting ready to say, Rick Abani, that knowing that she had one more step and took it, added to the momentum of Athena. That's what type of champion that we have. Oh, and Diamante. Who is ringside unopposed with the absence of Billy Starks. That's the second that Martinez needed to gain control. And you better believe Martinez is going to use it and capitalize on it. Face lock. Oh, just dumping Athena onto Bobby Cruz on the timekeeper's table here. And they are getting dangerous here. Well, how many times have we seen Athena do this to all of her athletes? Take them on the outside run and introduce them to so many parts of the ring, the barricades, the chairs, the tables. Now Martinez is just returning volley. I got you, I got you. Get back to move, I need a chair, move. What? Diamante with a chair. She'll get Martinez disqualified. Yeah. She'll lose this hard fought opportunity. Definitely doesn't want to do that. And the cravat, oh, onto the chair. Referee's discretion, but if it's not being used in an offensive manner, you see very few referees call for the DQ. This is all fair game. Athena trying to fight out. Grabbing the wrist of Martinez, the champion. Fighting essentially two on one at this point. In a very bad position, now changing the position. Athena on the outside. I don't know who I would give the advantage to on the outside of the ring. Both of these guys, Athena and the OG, are very dangerous on the outside of the ring. She's gonna try to superplex a Rick Abani. Are you gonna me? The balance of Athena! There's no way! With Martinez in the way! Wow! The pass! Driven on to the outside. The balance of Athena. The fulcrum, the torque. Look at the way the hips and the lower back crash first, causing whiplash in the neck of Martinez. Athena couldn't have hit that more perfectly to stun Martinez. But you also have to realize, Riccoboni, Athena is hurt too. That superplex takes a lot out of both athletes. Both athletes hit the floor. Martinez just hit the floor with more velocity. That is an amazing observation, Caprice, as Diamante trying to get both athletes and you hear referee Mike Posey, there's a 20 count in Ring of Honor. The women's world title does not change hands. Via the 20 count, 
So it is in Mercedes' best interest to not only answer this count, but to try and get Athena back in as well. That's right. Championship doesn't change hands on the count out, but you can see desperation in the eyes of the champion with that move, and the champion not able to move like she needs to. And that count is not slowing down from Mike Posey. Five seconds left. Both challengers, challenger and champion, trying to climb to the inside of the ring. Martinez may make it his first at 17. And I don't know if either competitor knows. They got to know that they're at 18. I don't know if they know the other athlete Get is not ring. made it in. We are at 19, and we are not at 20. The match will continue. Neither the champion nor challenger has made it to their feet yet. But you can see in their eyes the determination and the fire is lit. One wants to become champion, and one wants to stay champion. The eyes locked. Big form connects. And another. And the challenger started to get the higher ground. Goes to one knee. Back to vertical base first. Trying to drive Athena down. Whoa. The backhand. Backhand. Challenger and champion stunned. Forearms delivering here. It's the part that I like when Athena has to dig down to another level, and we will always want to see but the champion rise to the occasion as the OG lays on the onslaught and is not finished with the knee to the side of the head of the champion. Oh, catches the wrist though, Athena. Spinning back kick, kick up, and up the ladder within the area. The combinations that's made this women's champion so defiant. And Martinez with a sight of suplex. Martinez, that battle tested. Wow, I don't know how much that chin has been tested, but we're getting ready to see how much of it has been taken out of the challenger. The crowd coming alive here in Connecticut for our main event, a rematch of last year's final battle ROH Women's World Championship bout. The woman that won the title last year going up to the top. She won it with the old face Caprice. She might be trying to load it up here. Diamante up to the ropes. Allows the challenger a split second. The bad oh. position, Riccoboni. And the OG oh. drop. Got it! This is where Martinez is trying to have to realize you have to keep going. Don't worry about her kicking out of your finisher. Put it on her again. And she may be looking for the submission here. The Brass City Sleeper. The legs are locked. The wrists are locked. Can she wind it down? She does. And look at the lock. The neck. She cannot do it, Athena. Fighting, fighting, and clawing her way. Athena did that the last time in the championship match they had. Fighting her way out of that. One, two. Mercedes tucked the shoulder. Blocked out the cross face there. Turning defense into offense. Athena back to her feet with a big forearm. Wow. Collapses Martinez. Challenger falling face first like a seven foot giant falling to the ground. Unbelievable contest we're seeing here tonight in our main event. This is what Ring of Honor is all about. This is why the Women's World title is the most prestigious title. Oh, look at this, swing and a miss. Oh, my goodness. The title Athena has single-handedly put on the map, but able to do so because the trails blazed before her going up top. Look over the old face. Got it! Martinez Six. is not moving, Riccoboni. Diamante knows this match is over. Oh. Six second visual pin on the challenger. But Diamante prevents it from counting. Oh! oh. Witch splitter! Incredible! And Martinez now finds her way to the corner. Try a thief. 
What is trying to rip wow. off the turf? Just rip that clean off. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. there's oh, a no. metal buckle behind that Rick body, and Athena just hit it. Fisher, woman, driver, like her. See that again! Athena tearing off the turnbuckle, exposing her own self to imminent danger. Dropped on her head. Planted gets two. We're back to live action. She hit the back of her head twice, Riccaboni. The champion hit the back corner, which is just a steel buckle in the back of it. And then the champion was dropped on the top of her head, somehow finding a way out and still in the match. But the OG is towering over the champion with bad intentions. Looking for the OG drop, perhaps, once again. Separation created. Swing and a miss. Caught. It's Athena, front face lock, blocked by Martinez, holds the wrist. Swing and a miss by Athena. Waist lock here. Looking for an O'Connor roll. One, two. Athena able to get a fight. What was that? Athena. Wig splitter. Cover, two, that's it. The winner in this match, and still, Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena! Wow. No way! Wow. This. Wow. After the verbal abuse, we've seen, we've seen true mentorship and, and signs of true friendship. But I thought Athena crossed the line last week only for this week. Billy Starks? Billy Starks trying to prove herself to the champion. Saving the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship for Athena. This 18-year-old striking the challenger. And then offering the title, bestowing it upon the champion. The most dominant women's world champion in the history of Ring of Honor, Athena, takes on the former champion, Mercedes Martinez. Conspicuous by her absence, Billy Starks. Get it together! Both Athena and the OG are very dangerous. One wants to become champion, and one wants to stay champion. Martinez is not moving. Diamante, who is ringside unopposed with the absence of Billy Starks. Wait, what was that? Athena, that's it? Billy starts after the verbal abuse. You suck. You are trash. And time and time again, I try to build you up, but yet you just stop, Billy. Billy? Athena's called another emergency mim, but it's gonna be fine, okay? I'm gonna be here for you, I have your back. Deep breaths like we practiced. <sighs> and stay on your ground. I will. Last time is not gonna happen Thanks. again, yeah. I promise. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah, of course. Hey, so I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Apparently my best isn't good enough for you. I'm trying. I'm truly trying. I hit her with a belt. What more do you want me to do? Billy, if it takes me yelling, screaming, choking you, whatever, blasting you in the face, kicking you in your gut to bring just an ounce of violence out of you, I'll do it every damn time. Do you hear me? Yeah. I am here to inspire you to be better. Not to be trash like Kentucky, 
not to be trashed like Diablo and that retired hussy Mercedes, but to be Billy Starks, minion 400,237 and three quarters. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. So as of right now, you've impressed me and your suspension from MIT has been lifted. No smiling, no cheering. Okay, don't make me regret this. Give me some. Let's go. Oh, I know that's right. That was a good aim, my <laughs> yeah, team. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh. They certainly are, and Athena, yeah, I gotta give Athena credit, because last week, Caprice, the title in jeopardy, it was Billy Starks who made that sink or swim decision. The angel on one shoulder, the demon on another, and there's a demon looking for the baseball slide there. Ooh. And it's Heidi. Ring of Honor's debut here in the Interest Center in Kansas. Did you see the ease that Athena picked Heidi up? Are you kidding me right now? Oh. Wow. Heidi, yeah, Heidi beating the 200 mark, Rick Vine. This is not a small woman oh. here. And Athena just hoisted her and readjusted her before she slammed her onto the outside of the ring. This is the type of impact Athena needs to do if she wants to beat someone like Howitzer, though. Absolutely have to take the fight to her. Athena's single winning streak still intact, Caprice. You gotta wonder, though, a couple of weeks ago in that tag team bout where it was her and Billy Starks against Mercedes Martinez and Diamante, if that loss is starting to give her any sort of doubt, last week the title in jeopardy, maybe for the first time ever in Athena's reign. Well, you know, sometimes uh, anything like that happens it depends on the athlete, how they bounce back and forth. Athena can, can take that and realize that she can't sleep at any time, or she can take that and realize that she can be beat at any time. And e each one of those decisions uh, have their own playbook inside of it. If she takes the first one, she realizes she can be beat at any time, and she takes every match serious and doesn't look past anybody. Now the Irish whip into the corner. Of course, Athena would love to go into final battle Friday, December 15th, live for all Honor Club subscribers as the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, already the longest reign, already the longest tenured, already the most defenses, already, in my opinion, the greatest women's champion Ring of Honor's ever had. Yeah, she's doing a phenomenal job, and the confidence that I love seeing exuding from the champion is something that I'm seeing a little bit surprised now, only because of the athlete that I know Heidi is. And right as you say that, that was flush. On cue, Heidi Howitzer. Driving the big clothesline down to Athena. And of course, if this match, if Heidi lasts the 10 minutes, Caprice, Heidi will yeah. get a shot at the Ring of Honor Women's World title. This is non-title, but Heidi could earn herself a shot here, a good position to do so. Oh! Whoa. That was like cat-like maneuver there with that lung blower out of nowhere. Athena bringing in a big gun. Oh! That forearm was right under the chin, Rick Abani. This could be a knockout. That's it. Yeah. Who would in this match, though? A sensational win for Athena, whose singles winning streak here in Ring of Honor continues. We are on the road to final battle Friday, December the 15th, live for all Honor Club subscribers, Caprice. And Athena looks, dare I say, untouchable right now. You know what? Oh, oh, oh come God. on. Not this again. Textbook Athena right here. Right out of the playbook. As, as she gonna make Heidi kiss the belt. And Athena has defeated just about everybody. This isn't proving anything except answering to the insecurities in her own mind, I believe, Caprice. Well, you know what? It's, it's also a certain dominance, Riccoboni. Athena's always leaving her opponents face down, beaten when she walks out the ring, and that intimidates everybody in the locker room. Athena remains your Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. As we are on the road to final battle, Billy Starks elated. And what a victory in quick order. I have gathered you here for this mem. <laughs> for two reasons. Lexi, what was that crap with Willow on Collision? Are you best friends now? What is, what's going on with you <laughs> two, huh? Your yeah. best friends, you're taking pictures on social media, you want her to they, win? What is that crap? They, they told me to say that. Like, <laughs> legally, I, I, had, I had to say that. 
or never again. You tell him Athena said so. Yeah, don't do it again. Until further notice, you will be demoted and noted as MIT number one. No Are longer Bessie. Me? Billy, tonight you have a match against Rachel Ellery. Don't take it lightly. And prove to me that a sorry is not just a quick fix. Okay. Show me your violence. Show me your anger and beat the tar out of that porcelain hussy just like I did. And for me, final battles in my hometown. It's true. It's true. <laughs> That's exciting. No smile. Okay. And I can't wait to see which porcelain hussy steps up so I can break them. Let's roll out. Yeah. Here we go. Forearms that Billy Stark, she's throwing. This almost looks like Athena's forearms. They're playing with the chin. That's a dangerous thing to play with. Oh, and Ellering. That clothesline right under the jaw. And catching yeah. the ear, and that may have hit the off button for young Billy Starks. Athena not impressed at all. And Ellering may be taking advantage of the voice in Billy Stark's head that still questions. Ooh, that loss from a couple of weeks ago. And tag action, big swipe kick. Close line, sends Billy Starks down. Get up, Billy! Get up! Well, Rachel is hurt as well. Rachel got caught twice before she hit Billy once. If anything, this resets the match. And I want to see who gets to their feet first because Billy Starks is showing a lot of heart. But we know Rachel is being a veteran. Sometimes she'll buy this time to recover. And Starks going to the corner in which Athena, the world champion, is in. Rachel getting back to a vertical base first. Yeah, Rachel got to a vertical base without assistance, Rick Abani. That says a lot about Rachel's endurance. And nice kick there from Starks. Starks with the rear waist lock into the German. Ellering back up to her feet, but dazed. Starks looking for another one. Catches Ellering. Wow. And Ellering with those strong legs. Says something about the strength of Starks to be able to get two. And now three in a row. Into the bridge. Two. Ooh. That was a powerful bridge by Billy Starks. Billy Starks was still pressing into the shoulders of Rachel Ellering for get that count. Rachel had to kick hard out of that. And now second rope on the inside, all the way to the top. Ooh, the Prada Jet. Bring it back down to the Caught her laser on the inside. Billy Starks is in a lot of trouble as long as Rachel's that close to her. Yeah. And Ellering with ease. Fire Woman's carry position. Wow, into the TKO. TKO there. Hooks the leg. Two. Ooh, and, and maybe, just maybe, didn't have enough to cover. It looks like maybe a nerve was was struck on that German suplex. That left shoulder cinching up. She couldn't get that other arm down, Caprice. Yeah, sometimes you do a move with somebody and it hurts you as well. Just a little kink in the neck and that could have cost Rachel from making a complete cover on that move from Billy Starks. And that's lucky on Billy Starks' path. Oh, and it's Ellering. Irish whip into the ropes. Following, oh, look at that. Great ring positioning by Starks. Yeah. Able to send Ellering out. It starts with a full head of steam. Catches Ellering. A lot of aggression by Billy Starks. I've never seen Billy Starks stomp somebody on the outside. Look at the face of Billy Starks. And now look at the send Ellering into the barricade. Oh, goodness. Ellering sent crashing into that barricade on the outside. A despicable movement by Billy Starks here. Ooh. See what you did there, the minion pun. I like it, Caprice. As Billy Starks all the way up top now. Once again, this time no Ellering to stop her. Swan oh. time! Oh my God. Sent time, cover, two. Yeah. That's it. The winner of this match, Billy Starks! And I will give Athena credit for having the restraint to only give verbal advice in this match. And that, that killer instinct coming out little by little from Billy Starks, in my opinion, was what won her this match, Caprice.
Yeah, but it's also a thing to let Billy Starks do what she needs to do. Here we go. Oh. And we, we don't need to see this. We don't. The match has been won. Billy Starks. Oh, Wait a second. Oh, come on. Now, I remember so many times Billy Starks stopped Athena from doing this type of stuff. Now Billy Starks is doing it. This is just, this is breaking my heart right now. This is. Whoa! Wait a minute! Are you kidding me? Layla Hirsch! Now, Rachel, earlier the night, ran off the Renegades. Return of favors here. You got my back, I got yours. Oh, Vin. On Athena. Athena making an offer for Layla to to join the minions. And there's no way Layla would take that offer. She just came down to save Rachel. Every everybody wants to train. Layla Hurst because they see so much into her, just like we see so much into next week. With full gear. Maria Knellis, the Renegades. What? That's that's not a pairing that I expected. This tag team match is time for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Team number one, the team of Billy Stucks and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, the following Athena! Ring of Honor, are they, are they matching? That's the crazy part. The week that Athena... The week that she wore all black, Billy Starks wore all black. This week, Billy Starks back in the colorful gear. Athena brings out her colorful gear. Their opponents, the team of Brooke, Havoc, and Johnny, Robbie. I, I'm not sure what's going on. We see Brooke Havoc there and Johnny Robbie. I, what is what is afoot here? I mean, they, it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Well, every time we see Billy Starks, you know, she has that smile on her face, but we start to see that character changing a little bit. And you can't deny it now, yeah. Rick Abani, Billy Starks is uh, very aggressive. She had been the rules. Absolutely. And oh, oh goodness. It's speaking of breaking. Athena trying to break the jaw. I'll tell you what, Athena breaking all kinds of records as well. Most defenses, most days as world champ. And breaking records on shophonor.com. With her sales, you can get all the new Minion merchandise. The Athena shirts and more. But in trouble here. Deep stacked up. Athena has, that's the strength of our champion. My goodness. Ooh. Athena has everything, Riccoboni. She's fast, she's strong, she's dominant and aggressive. You, that's, that's a champion. And tag made to Billy Starks. I'm so happy. I'm not gonna mess this up. How would I mess this up? Oh, Ooh, nice jawbreaker. And Johnny Robbie makes the tag. Recently debuted for New Japan Strong. Here comes Brooke Havoc. Nice drop down, boots up. And rolling through, body scissor. Wow. Billy Starks grabbed that body scissors, thinking she was going to get a wheelbarrow out of that. And Havoc here with an opportunity. Out of the Nightmare Factory, but mm. Havoc, a product, kick wow. to the back. Look at that, that kick to the back, but Billy Starks saw it and got the referee's attention. Posey did not see it, and Billy Starks with that forearm. That's what I mean about Billy Starks with Cabani. And that's a page, and this is all pages yeah. out of Athena's playbook. That forearm down to the mouth, to the punch. Ground and pound. Might not be able to continue here. What? Yeah. Is Billy Starks fussing at Posey? That's, that's an Athena tantrum, Riccoboni. And a tag made. Athena back in, defeated Heidi Howitzer last week. Mercedes Martinez, oh, with the aid of the title belt with Billy Starks two weeks ago. It's Athena with the despicable knee. Planting havoc, two, that's it. The winners of this match, the team of Billy Starks and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. A lot, what? What is, what is this? That's Billy Starks. 
Is this who she is now? Uh, you can't is deny it? Rick Abani. We saw it in the match. We see every week just a little more dirt under the fingernail of Billy Starks coming yeah. from the champion and the champion's approval and the smile. But just poisoning the mind of the 18-year-old Billy Starks is Athena. You can't argue with Athena's success. Oh, even as the challenges pour in, whether it be Diamante and Mercedes Martinez who say they're not done, whether it is Kira Hogan, Willow Nightingale, or even Thunder Rosa, who recently called out Athena on Twitter. But when you're as dominant as Athena Caprice, you can, you can take those challenges and just roll with it. It's, it's wild. She talking to me? Yeah, no, she said porcelain, Rick and Bonnie. Let's take it to Lexi Nair. I am here with our women's ROH world Forever. Forever ROH women's Forever world Forever ROH <laughs> women's world champion. There you go, uh, baby of, girl. of course, of course. Uh, we just saw you two beat up some porcelain hussies. <laughs> this phrasing is so good. How are we? How are we feeling? You know, we went out there. We had a great match in Billy. I did a good job, right? I did a great job, boss. Bill Billy has shown more violences in her um, in her wrestling, yes. Um, and I, you know, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere, you know. But final battle, I'm scoping out the entire women's division, and God, they're all trash, aren't they? Yeah. That's yes. the yes. 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 They are trash. They are porcelain hussies. But that brings me to you two. MIT, you can't stay here forever. <laughs> MIT number two. MIT number one. We are here. And let's just say you're either going to step up or I'm going to stomp you out of MIT. What's that mean, Lexi? That was that definitely a threat. One thousand percent. That was a threat. What were we supposed to do? We're MIT buddies. Hello, minions! <laughs> it is your forever ROH Women's World Champion and minion in training number one. And we are here to issue a special open challenge to any porcelain hussy that thinks that they can handle us in the ring. So, if you're brave enough, Step up, or we're gonna stomp you out. Roll out, minion. Dude. Can you imagine the name staking their claim right now? Shibata. Eddie Kingston. We've heard Mark Briscoe's name involved. The names cover here. One, two, Athena trying to ward off a potential challenge from Rousey. And what a, I mean, that would, with no offense to Willow or Diamante or, or anyone, that would have been the biggest pin of Athena's career here in Ring of Honor. I tell you what, that's worth the prescription of Honor Club alone, Rick Bonnie. Just to see. These two! Oh! Oh, face block! Oh! Beautiful slam! Arbor! Arbor! Kelsey was waiting for it! Athena's in the middle of the ring! No place to go! She can't grab the hands! She cannot oh. grab the hands to block the arm from being stressed oh. out! Rick Wait a body. minute, stacks up Rousey, but it's a triangle now! It's into a triangle choke! It's into a triangle choke! Athena trying to get the pin! Oh. Athena's got the leverage! Lifting Whoa. Rousey up! Athena's got the leverage! Plants Rousey down! Rousey bears! Stressed out, Rick Abadi. Athena can tap here. That's what Athena. Billy Starks. Billy Starks. Swanton. Pump hit him for Marina. Whoa. Shafir and Rousey have bought some daylight. Athena, I've never seen in that situation before. All women down, and we're still got so much to go for, Rick Abadi. This is indeed awesome. We are thankful for the fans here at Ring of Honor. What a great journey it's been, year one, Ring of Honor on Honor Club. And this
This is the type of action we're thankful to call week after week. The baddest woman on the planet, the greatest ring of honor women's champ of all time, going out and tooth the nail. Wow. Spinning kick takes your fear down. Kick catches. And it is Rousey and Athena. Look at Rousey climb, Athena. Back to the arm, Rousey up top. Athena has a choice to slam or to sit. I don't know what Athena's gonna do, but she has a short time to fade away. If Athena drops, it starts oh, she's, fading. She's biting. Athena's gonna she go to sleep. She bit second. Rousey. She bit Rousey. Whoa! Electric chair German cover. Two to no. You know what, Rick Abani, whoever wins this would be an upset because if Ronda Rousey pins Athena, we've seen the first time Athena's been pinned, and I don't know how long on Ring of Honor, and if Ronda Rousey gets beat by Athena, she spoils her debut. Tag made, you're absolutely right. Athena has never been defeated or pinned on Ring of Honor. She's lost one tag team bout. Billy Starks figured in that decision. Shafir tagged in, Starks tagged in. And Shafir, oh, rewind from Starks. Yeah, how good is Billy Starks? And she's 18. 18 years old. Ooh, oh, lost her footing. And Shafir. Billy Starks lost her footing right there on the top rope and only had that second to recover. And Shafir capitalized on it. Oh, and pushing Shafir away. Now Great char adjustment. Oh. Charging in. Now sent down to the mat. And look at that, the boots. Now second rope on the inside, going all the way to the top. Starks, ooh, lost it again. And look at Shafir, though, staying on yeah. top of Starks. Front face lock here, second rope on the inside. Starks in a bad way, but has those legs clinched. Athena able to make the tag, very smart move there. Shafir Athena. doesn't see Athena. The world champ has Shafir in a dangerous position here. Starks up top. Oh, Rousey neutralizes oh, Starks. my goodness. Shafir, two, rolls up. Big kick. Drives through Athena. Wow! Oh. Shafir. Billy Starks eliminated. The champion's by herself. Rousey's tagged in. And it's Rousey and Athena. Shafir making the most of her five seconds. And Shafir to Rousey who drives Athena down. No the leg. Two. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! count only everybody in the key of form is looking in anticipation of this match knowing that this match is one that no one thought would happen and now we can't keep our eyes off it Riccoboni and it's the baddest woman on the planet the greatest combat female fighter in history. Ronda Rousey may have just been knocked out by the form of the greatest Ring of Honor women's champion ever. If she was knocked out, Athena does not have the wherewithal to capitalize, to make the cover. Athena looking to make a tag to Billy Starks, who has been, in my opinion, a VIP in this match and the youngest person. Tag made, and it comes Starks. It comes Shafir, Shafir, stretch muffler, stretch muffler. Transitioning now, catching the arm. Nice drop on the hips by Starks to block the That's suplex. That's a choke. That's a choke. Oh, wait a minute! It's a cradle. Two, and Starks almost pulls off a huge pin there. My goodness, Billy Starks is so elusive here and very impressive. Smart game plan, keeping Shafir down with the knee, so Shafir doesn't go anywhere. The champion is tagged in. Absolute star-making performance here from Billy Starks. Who has Shafir in the gory special position? The gory special in to those code breaking knees, too. And Rousey oh. able to break things up. Rousey able to break things up. Billy Starks wrestling a and perfect looking match for the here. Tag. Looking for the tag to get in. Rousey. Wants to win in her Ring of Honor debut. Good. Wants to make a statement Good. to pin the Good. greatest Ring of Honor women's champion of all time. Great back heel trip there. Tag me! Emphatic tag me! Rolling through into the ankle lock. Ankle lock cut. Double leg takedown. Shapir. Ankle lock in stereo. This could be it. 
This could be all she wrote. Ankle locks in stereo. Here. Starts rolling through. Athena rolling out. Rousey into the corner. May have crashed that shoulder into the steel post. You heard that, Rick Abani. Whoa. Athena. Now Athena going up top, looking for the old face again. It was blocked earlier by Rousey. She got it! Athena hits the old face! Posey knowing what he's doing at oh. all times, Rick Abani. I would not have been able to make that call, but Billy Starks is stuck on the top by Sophia. Crossbody. Oh! And Athena may have had Rousey pinned. We will never know for sure. But Athena realizes she's not the legal person in the ring, Rick Abani. Billy Starks is it. Billy Starks. Oh, no, it over the swan dive. Double wrist lock. Shafir has Athena trapped. Billy Starks is by herself. Billy Starks dead center. Billy Starks getting ready to tap. Readjustment by Rousey, Rick Abani. Submission, the team of Marina Shafir and Rowdy Ronda Rossi. Absolutely unbelievable turn of events. Billy Starks, a star before our eyes because she hung with the baddest woman on the planet and one of the most dangerous women on the planet, Marina Shafir. But it was the shock, the awe the power, the control, the finesse of the debuting Ronda Rousey here on Thanksgiving in Ring of Honor. Ronda Rousey, Marina Shafir victorious at our main event, Caprice. That's the way you make the debut. That's the way you come into Ring of Honor. Hold on a second. A thing oh. finish. Oh, did you, did you ever believe you'd see this? Absolutely not. How many times has oh. Athena stood over her and opponents and with the title in hand? We got something. And, and Rousey you knew, did you hear? Her? What do you do with the you belt? You swing and you hit your defenseless opponents with the belt. That's what Rousey said. Rousey clearly coming to Ring of Honor with a game plan in mind. We are four Fridays away, just three weeks. Away from final battle. Live for all Honor Club subscribers. Friday, December 15th, Garland, Texas. And if this is a sign of things to come, sign me up for Caprice Coleman, Ami, and Rickabody. Happy Thanksgiving, happy wrestling. We'll see you next week right here at Ring of Honor. Who knows will show up? You know what? I just don't I just don't understand it. How can you be so good at singles matches, but every time we tag, we lose? But you know what I promised myself? <sighs> I wasn't gonna get mad about this because I expected you to be the weak link. I'm sorry, and I refuse to be upset time and time again because you're a failure and you fail me. But you know what, tonight? <laughs> tonight you can fix it, Billy! Tonight you're gonna go one-on-one -on -one with Marina Shafir. And you're gonna beat the brakes off her. You're gonna set an example after she and her little buddy embarrassed us last week. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Go get ready for your match. Okay. Lexi, back me up on this one. You ready? Y yes. Eddie Kingston. I know that you don't come to my show very often and you haven't been here for a while, but the next time that I hear you talk about my show and me as ROH Women's World Champion not carrying my weight, oh, I'm gonna backfist you back to the future. Backfist to the future. Let me get one thing straight. My back is so heavy from carrying not only every porcelain hussy I've been in the ring with, oh, not right. only the women's division, oh, no, but right. the entire damn show, mm -hmm. Eddie. You tell him, girl. I am the standard at Ring of Honor. I am the workhorse of this she entire show. She is her. And it's about damn time you put some respect on the fallen goddess, the minion overlord, the alpha, the ROH gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. But most of all, you're forever Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Forever wins. Rob, champion! Mwah.
and that because she starts to care a little bit less about the rules, a little bit less about her opponents, and it's all about the wins. Well, the, blue, the blueprint has been laid out by Athena. Ooh, that wrist control is kicked to the face. That's insult to injury. And maybe a little bit of revenge from earlier in the bout from Marina. As Marina, though, grabbing a hold of the wrist of Billy Starks. Catches the front face lock again. Wow. Single leg ankle pick there. It's Marina who plants in a, ooh, and a broken table into the single leg of herself. Oh, right. Wow. Oh, on the jaw. Marina was reaching in, and while she was reaching in, Billy Starks threw that forearm, letting it flush on the jaw. Marina might be out cold, Rick Abani. That's those lights oh. out there. No, Marina's back up. Nice trip. Absolutely. Taking the leg out on oh, those big kicks. Look at Marina. And Marina, this fire has been unlocked. Breaking down. Billy Starks there. Ooh. Downstairs, across the jaw, inside leg hook, two. And a nice, powerful cover, but a great kick out from Billy Starks. But did she empty the tank on that kick out? Caprice, does she trust herself enough to pace herself to be able to kick out later in the event she can't get some offense going here? I tell you what, this is survival. This is where the conditioning goes in. And every time I underestimate Billy Starks, I see something brand new from a oh. nice kick. But Shafir is showing she could take a lot of punishment. But that right there, that lariat from Shafir, all it did was give her space. See, she hit the lariat but had nothing to cover with. And this has been an absolute war. Exceeding all of our expectations in terms of the development of Billy Starks into a true star. Marina Shafir unlocking that second gear. The match resets. These two women giving absolutely everything they have. Everything that's left in the gas tank to determine a winner here tonight. Both women reestablishing a vertical base. It starts delivering. Shafir returning volley. The game right here, Rick Abani, is risk control. Both athletes have grabbed wrist control, which means I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to fight here to the death. And right now, Marina's having a better end of it, breaking down. Billy starts again. And now, a kick to the back. And you can tell oh, that that advantage could be there. You saw the lat spread. The vascularity of Shafir, a training regiment like no other. And that strength and conditioning coming into advantage here. Look at this submission. The tire up. Oh, that leg, that leg is going left to right. That knee has nowhere to go. You feel your ligament stretching right there. You can see his shoulder stretching right over to a pin. Oh, Stark's able to prevent the pin by a hair there. Oh my God, it's a severe lock. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and Stark's very smartly avoiding the pin, but the damage being done as the seconds tick off the knee in the match. And maybe the career of Billy Stark's, oh, pushing off. Out of desperation, looking for the dive once again. She was caught before and starts connecting. <laughs> See the wheel though, not 100% on Billy Starks, even slow it down. The velocity of Billy Starks coming out, but Billy Starks is in survival mode, going to the top rope, and Shafir is laid out. Riccoboni looking for that swan dive again. The Starks have one more in her. Oh, and he's up. Shafir giving up the knees. Complete him on the back of Stark. Stark's in trouble here. Wow. Ah. Hooks the leg. Two. The stretch muffler. Bob hits two. My goodness. Marina Shafir continues to pull out moves that we haven't seen from her. But this is another level that she has to dig deep in because it's not often we see Marina Shafir this deep into the pool. She's normally finished off her opponents by now. Absolutely, that striking, that quickness, that finesse. Starks has come back. Look at this inside pump handle from Shafir. And try it oh, up and over. Yeah. Starks. Oh, looking for the backslide. Oh, wait a minute. Corey special. Driven down. Shafir able to plant the knees to avoid some of the impact. But Starks may have gotten enough here. Yeah, playing the knees is not a good thing, though, Riccoboni. You jam your knees, it's hard to kick out. Oh. Hook the leg, two, one. Hey, you're right, that desperation, trying to avoid the gory bomb. 
It puts Shafir in a place where she could not move. Yeah. That swan dive connects. And Starks with Shafir, maybe an opportunity for the star 10 here. Wait a second. Is she going to put her away, Riccoboni? Oh, those arms are crossed. They're trapped. Oh, nice with kick. Shafir's head. Back to it. That's a veteran move right there. And Starks. Star 10. That'll do it, Riccoboni. I promise you that much. Hook the leg! Starks with the victory! No winner this match, Billy Starks! I tell you what, Rick Cabani, there's so many things that this young lady does so well. That was a veteran move right there. When Shafir tried to move out of the way, a Billy Starks kicks her and goes right back to the same maneuver. That is perfect timing. That's a veteran instinct. That's something she had to learn from a champion. Starks knew that she had one shot. Oh, code of honor, not in here, too. Starks, unreal. With the good comes the bad. With the good learning comes the dirty pool learning as well. It's this power of Billy Stark that we never thought we were going to see, but now we can't unsee it. This is not the same innocent female that came to wrestling the Ring of Honor. The teenage mind poisoned by the world champion as Starks disposes of Shafir after a sneak attack. And the world champion has got to like what she's seen from her protege. And what in the world? Ceremony, everybody. Ceremony. Can't tell. Well, I graduate next year. Oh, 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 my goodness. As Lexi Nair decked in a cap and gown befitting of the great, late, great Lanny Popo. Jeez. I tell you what, Athena's a genius, though. Athena is a genius indeed. The Ring of Honor Women's World Champion greeting her minion in training, well, she was a minion in training. I'm, I'm uh, making some leaps and some assumptions here of what may be to come, but let's turn it to the champion who will inform us. a bit of a surprise, but it is now time for our 2023 MIT graduation ceremony. You know, MIT is a very prestigious academy that I took a lot of time in developing. It's for minion empowerment. It is for the must-see violence. But most of all, it's for me. <laughs> so, without further ado, let me introduce to you our 2023 valedictorian of MIT. This person, when I first met them, they were very rough around the edges, and let's be honest, they sucked. <laughs> But through my guidance, they have worked hard. They have worked so hard. And let me tell you, I think that this person has even changed my life for the better. And hopefully, I've changed theirs. Without further ado, our Well, in Chicago, you have mustard on a Chicago dog and not ketchup, but. Without further ado, our 2023 valedictorian, Lexi Nair. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't know who was going to be. Well, I think, I think Billy believed she had a shot. 
And Lexi will be receiving an Athena's Minion shirt. Available on shophonor.com. And she will now be known as Minion number Bessie. Wow. That's the oh, highest man. honor you can get. Yeah, but Billy. Guys, this is, this this is Lexi's time right now, okay? You're being very rude. Yeah, it is Chicago. At, this is just, this. she's 18 years old. It is catch-up season here! There's, Chicago dogs don't even have catch-up. Lexi, please say a few words for these assholes. Oh, come on, this, this is humil, they're humiliating a teenager. She just graduated high school. She's done everything. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to thank my mother. No, 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 no. I'd like to. Athena signed that diploma twice, by the way. What kind of egomaniac puts their signature on a document okay, I'd twice? I'd like to thank my mother. But no, 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 I would really like to thank Athena. She has gotten me here today through my blood, sweat, and tears. I wouldn't have been able to do it without my minion buddy, Athena, I owe you the world. And and this is heartbreaking. Let's show some respect, Rick and Bonnie. You gotta be happy for Lexi. I, I can't help but think. There's only one valedictorian. And that was my friend Ashok Conwalker and that drove me nuts. And that will conclude our 2023 MIT graduation. Will you give all of our participants a round of applause and we wish you well in your future endeavors. Thank you. We're gonna go, cause you guys are being extremely rude. I'm sorry. Well, there's a salutatorian too. That's the person. What do you mean, what about you? What about this isn't about you right now, Billy. This is about Lexi. This is Lexi's time. This isn't your time. I'm ready! No. This is about you. Uh oh. Billy Starks! Staring a hole through the champion! And Athena has abused her position of power. For so long, approaching a year with this 18-year-old Billy Starks. We might be able to call Athena Frankenstein because she's created a monster here. And just continues to keep Billy Starks under her thumb, humiliating this 18-year-old prodigy once more. And, and she's, Billy Starks is devastated. She should be on cloud nine. She just defeated one of the toughest, most violent athletes in Ring of Honor. And instead, this night has turned into a nightmare. Wait a Wait minute, a Billy Starks! Yes! Yes! Billy Starks, stand up for yourself! Starks has the title! Athena's laughing. She is inspired by this violent turn from Billy Starks, who is turning this humiliation into a moment that she won't forget, and neither will Athena. Victorious here tonight, Billy Starks. And where does this leave this relationship? Has she broken the toxic hold that Athena has on her here in Chicago? Caprice, absolutely wild turn of events. I tell you what, Rick Abani, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. Athena for so long has been wanting Billy Starks to pull out the stocks, and that's exactly what Billy Starks did. They say it gets lonely at the top of the mountain. We got a new champion! Gold around the waist of the fallen goddess. I don't care about anyone I'm in the ring with. I beat them bloody, I beat them broken. That's just what I do.
Athena has become the most dominant women's champion in Ring of Honor history and among the most dominant champions we've ever seen in this company. She has held the title longer, defended it more time than any other competitor. The only person I care about is me and my ROH Women's World Championship. Athena's racked up a nearly 40 win streak in single competition. Along the way, she met 18-year-old Billy Starks. I came here looking for a friend, looking for a mentor, and I got attached to Athena pretty quickly. Minion Training is a program that I designed for minion empowerment. MIT was a place I thought I was going to learn. Turn around! Billy still sucks. It wasn't what MIT was supposed to be. I saw someone that was weak, defenseless, and pathetic. Show me your violence. You never gave me a voice. Now I have a voice. This is power to Billy Stark that we never thought we were to see. And this voice is telling you. Our 2023 valedictorian, Lexi Nair. Your forever run is over. Yes! Billy Stark, stand up for yourself! You taught me to always run towards a fight. Show me your anger. I'm running after this championship. And if you beat me, this is the monster that Athena has created. I'll leave Ring of Honor. Forever. The main event of Final Battle is on tap. It's on deck. And with that, we go to our special guest ring announcer, Lexi Nair, to introduce the proceedings. The following contest is set for one fall with a 60 minute time limit. This is for the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship! The challenger emerges. Lexi Nair, who has been a part of the Minions in training, Crown valedictorian. She's sort of been caught in the crosshairs and the cog of things. Here you see the teenage Billy Starks. We've all been there, Caprice. We've all had a friend, a mentor, who we thought was guiding us down the path of greatest success, who taught us everything that they believed they could teach us, only for that moment to change, to realize that the student had become maybe something different than envisioned or even perhaps better than the teacher. And instead of letting that student grow, instead of letting that student blossom, they were held under the thumb of the most dominant Ring of Honor Women's World Champion in its history tonight. This teenage prodigy has a chance to make history and leave final battle the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Oh. The main mask cannot hide the visage of a woman on a 43-match ROH-sanctioned singles winning streak. And wearing the protective face gear because of the broken nose delivered by that woman, Billy Starks, the Ring of Honor World Champion, the Women's World Champion, and perhaps one of her few moments of vulnerability enters this match tonight with a deviated septum with some questions, maybe some doubts. Did she teach Billy too much? Has she led Billy too well? Can she stop the monster that she has created? We will find out those answers and more here tonight as we win for the first time ever the Ring of Honor Women's World Title Bound Main Event Final Battle. We take you once again to our special guest ring announcer, Lexi Nair. Introducing first the challenger from Louisville, Kentucky, Billy Starks. And her opponent from Garland, Texas. She is your Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Your the Fallen Goddess, your forever champion, Athena! Athena captured that title 
over one year ago at Final Battle, defeating Mercedes Martinez. Since then, unrepented, must-see violence from the world champion. Two times with the body. 43 matches, either for the title or in Proving Ground competition. I count Proving Ground competition still defenses because you're defending people from challenging your title. I'm not taking anything away from this dominant champion. Think about this, we've only had 43 episodes of Ring of Honor television. Right. Defending it everywhere she can. The challenger up. How in oh the world? The electric like, chair position. Uh, Billy stuck. And, and we know Athena's already past that point. Oh, oh, where, hey. Whatever she thinks she does, she could do whatever she wants Whoa, to they, do. Hey, Caprice, they are all the way. Billy. How does Billy Starks kick out of that? That was the highest assisted German suplex I've ever seen. Super German suplex. Take a look at this again. You've heard of an ST plunge. Oh my goodness, this is... A dive from the top of the Fiji Mountains. Oh in the Pacific Ocean. Just driving the challenger. Tossing her up with balance. Yeah. With the strength that Athena has is the reason why she's champion. She's strength under control. It's power under precision. Oh! And Starks creates separation. Oh, the bayonet! Bayonet, that's it! Starks is covered! Yep. One, two, Bozzi's out. three! Bozzi's out. And this... And that was... At no fault of anybody. That yeah. was a, a clean move by Billy Starks. It, She's calling oh, Lexi. And she rang the belt. And and Lexi has been an, an accomplice. Yeah. The guest ring announcer right, with is. that Ring of Honor Women's World title. Guest ring announcer, minion graduate. And, and Lexi with the title. And, and, and Lexi's and, and, and we are, and, yeah. I mean, Athena. Athena desperately wants that title. We all know what she does to her falling Absolutely. With the title, with the referee down. Using this referee down. Oh, okay. Athena with the title. Oh, no! The drop kick! Title to the skull of Athena! Title to the skull! Billy Starks! Start! If she makes the cover, that's Tim Riccoboni. I promise you that much. Cover! Billy Starks, opportunity of a lifetime. Hitting her finishing move, the start 10. They just need one more. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, and here's the fire. Here's the determination. Billy Starks throwing those four arms. Oh no. Athena. We all know Athena on the outside is very dangerous, especially on the apron. But it starts, waist lock, real waist lock. Athena holding on for dear life, trying to present that. Prevent it. Now, oh! Wow. In to those turnbuckle cables, the buckles themselves. And under those buckles, Rickabani is nothing but steel. That thin layer of protection, mostly to guard against cuts and tears of the skin. It is Athena. First rope on the outside, now second rope. Billy Starks on the apron. Boom. Wait a second. Oh, and this this match may not be won here, but it may be lost. No depending way. on what happens here. Like no way. Chair. Oh. 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 God. Electric chair driver has the fans stunned as the challenger has knocked out the champion. Electric chair driver on the outside corner of the ring, the hardest part of the ring. No give at all. That is Bethlehem steel underneath that. The only thing I see the champion doing is breathing. That's all. And that took a lot out of Billy Starks. You can't fault her. 
for not going immediately for the champion. To me, this is the right move, the smart move, to compose herself, to get yeah. her breath before yeah. making the next move. She's, she's definitely playing this game right because she is in the driver's seat right now. Billy Starks could be on the cusp of becoming the new Ring of Honor champion. Women's champion at dead weight. And looking, that's this, true dead weight right oh. there. And looking to make history is Billy Starks to end the reign that's been compared to that of Brian Danielson, Nigel McGinnis, and Samoa Joe. And Starks up top. Starks with a swan dive. And Starks going home. How? Starks finds an empty pool there. Oh, that's no. a knockout blow. Legs go stiff, knees go weak, Starks fights the canvas. But even with that knockout blow, the champion is hurt so much, she can't make the cover on what she's invested in. She can only try to recover. Yeah. Uh-huh. Billy, the challenger, stunned Athena, gave everything she got. Saw the way she planted off of that knee. Caprice, that knee's been injured in the past. You got to think that's taken a lot out of her. We've seen. Oh, and then the standing 10 count. Referee Mike Posey may choose to call it off here. Both wrestlers responding at this point. Both athletes responding. Oh, goodness. <laughs> what? The champion. The challenger, though, springing right back, springing right back with the forms of her own. Champion on top, challenger volleys. Oh, those quick chops. One from the challenger, one from the champion. Oh. Both women, both women still have their feet here. They still have that athletic stance. Oh, what a shot! Hit that show tape palm strike. Yes, she did. Billy Starks off the ropes, caught by Athena. Shot to the lower back. Athena. Oh, despicable knee. Despicable knee. And that is knocked out, Billy Starks. And oh. one count. That is a one count. How? How did Billy Starks kick out of that direct shot to the head? Athena. This is another move Athena has put away so much opponents with, so many opponents with. And Billy Starks, I have no idea how she's still in this match. I have no idea how Athena's still in this match. Both women giving it everything they have. We said this would be history making. We said that this would be a fight for the ages. It's lived up to that and more as the point of the boots connect, followed by a quick low kick from Athena. Athena going to the top here. Billy Starks in grave danger. Athena won the title last year with the O-Face at final battle. Looking to leave Texas with the same move here. Looking for the O-Face. Oh, wait a second. Billy Starks countered. Waist lock into the ropes. O'Connor all stack. Two. Off the ropes. Oh, big time kick from Starks. Starks here, going right back to the champion. Finds the champion. Billy Starks. Uh-oh. Starks, great counter from Athena. Picks the ankle. The challenger now, back to one knee. The champion, all over the Stark 10. Wait the Stark 10. That's Billy Starks finishing move. Starks with the counter. Starks with the way out. Starks now. Athena up and over. It's Billy Starks on a champion who drops down cover. Two. Oh. No. No. This has got to be the greatest match Billy Starks has ever wrestled. Oh. And definitely the biggest challenge from Athena. Roll through the kick. And trap trap inside. Roll. The submission. Oh, Billy Starks, nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Tied up like a knot. Tied like a knot. The challenger needs to find an escape route here. Will the challenger tap? Will the champion retain? The crowd is not what Billy Starks to give up. Is she nodding out? Is she saying yes? Oh. She's giving up. said if she lost here tonight, it would be the last match she competed in Ring of Honor. Instead, the most dominant champion in the history of Ring of Honor's women's division now has an opportunity 
to become the most dominant champion in the history of Ring of Honor, period. Yeah, absolutely. In the shortest amount of time, these aren't just title defenses. These are title defenses back to back to back to back to back, to back showing that Athena, the definite most dominant women's champion in Ring of Honor history, on the way to be the most dominant champion in Ring of Honor history. I want to give the champion her flowers now. This was a hard fought match. Both champions, both champion and contender brought it. And the champion still retains. We Wait talk some time. Go really starts. Backed up to her feet. Stalking the champion. And we talk about potential. We talk about athletes who haven't reached their peak. Billy Starks is just scratching the surface right here. Yeah, right. exactly. The king was in an eyelash multiple times of defeating Athena. It's almost like all she wanted was respect. Oh, oh Athena. The definition of the cold shot. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. What else do you want from me, huh? Yeah. Really standing up for herself. More than a handshake. To be my minion. A hard fought history making bout here tonight in Garland, Texas. from this 19-year-old prodigy. The glass ceiling has been broken here at Final Battle. Two women giving everything they had here tonight. Athena continues to make her case to be the most dominant champion, period, in Ring of Honor history. There was a reason why the women may have been in battle, Final Battle, and this is the reason why. Athena, a franchise player, certified franchise player, continuing with the, her first in Ring of Honor. Two pay-per-views main evented, two on top. Athena may be your forever champion. Fans, we want to thank you so much for joining. Final battle, the biggest event on the calendar year for Ring of Honor. Congratulations to Bobby Cruz on 20 years here at Ring of Honor. We want to thank Caprice Coleman, yes, Lexi Nair, Tony Khan for keeping this thing going. For everyone here at Ring of Honor, we hope you have a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy wrestling, everybody. We will see you. Athena has been the most dominant women's champion in Ring of Honor history. I know what you're thinking. I haven't been around, I left you high and dry, but guys, I deserve a vacation too. Surprise, bitch! The actions speak louder than words, and I'm not gonna stop! My house now, Athena! Until there is Ring of Honor gold around my waist. Surprises, Nyla. But I got a surprise for you. The world champ is back! Whoa! One shot, one forearm! I'm not one to back down from a fight. I am challenging you to a tables match. And I'm gonna give it all I got to put you in the ground. I generously accept. But um, where I'm gonna have to draw the line is when you tell me what we're gonna do. Two out of three falls. Tables match. See you out there. In control enough to stop Nala Rose from doing whatever she wants. The champions on her feet, though. Ooh. Look at this. And Nala Rose able to push the champion away. Just one arm pushes her away. Momentum sends it 
Challenger into the turnbuckle. Oh, Athena no. struggling to get Nala Rose on her feet, Riccoboni. Certainly is. As Nyla Rose unloading. And the challenger. Yeah. The champion look, look for the field toss. Counter by Athena. Lands on her feet. The champion able to deliver. Oh, nice drop down. Kick there from the challenger. Defense from Nyla Rose hits hard. Ooh. Wow. And the offense hits harder. And Athena smartly seeking refuge outside. And Caprice, I, I can't believe this. If we're seeing this level of action each and every week here yeah. on Honor Club, can you imagine on Honor Club on April the 5th what we will see at Super Card of Honor in Philadelphia? I know one thing, Rick Abani, it only goes up from here, but who will be the champion? at Supercard of Honor. Well, and think about the legacy Athena's created, the, our last two oh! Oh! pay-per-view events. She, she's made history. She's defended the Women's Championship for the first time in the main events of Death Before Dishonor. Oh, and final battle! And she's looking to live to do so at Supercard. And I tell you what, in the main event she's been in, she's been in the most control, most of the matches in the main event. Athena has only been in control maybe 30% of this match with the Bonnie. And the champion, though, looking to change that. Big shotgun drop kick, sending the challenger into that barricade there. Everything that Athena does to Nyla Rose just buys Athena time to recover. She doesn't have enough to do anything else to Nyla Rose, just buys enough time for her to recover from the onslaught that she's been given by Nyla Rose. That's how much punishment the champion's been taking, Riccoboni. And those seconds with elite athletes like Athena can add up back in her direction. If she can fulfill, for lack of a better term, one energy bar for every two she takes down Nyla, she can make this a zero-sum game at some point and bring the momentum back into the champion's favor as the table being introduced. This is and a dangerous setting, Riccoboni. Two tables are out, which means th the whole trajectory changes in the match because you're not just looking out for one section. You have multiple sections to look out from, and sometimes you can set a table up for your opponent, and you end up going through it yourself. I was just going to ask you about that, Caprice. I I've never, obviously never been in a tables match. I know hey. you have been involved with tables. I've, I've, I've been in tables matches. I've been I've put people through tables. I've been pit through tables. <laughs> And, I, and I've seen it happen. The the aggressor sets the table up, turns around and gets sent through the table. I mean, it's, but it, you almost have to. I don't think you could fight scared here. I don't think you could back down here. I think you need to make the offensive move to set the table up and, and, and put fate into your own hands, try to control your own destiny. Well, that's why it's called high risk recombining right here. Setting up a table is a high risk move, but the only way to win is to put your opponent through it. And now Athena has intentions of sending Nyla Rose through the threw the table from the apron, but Nyla Rose on her feet is dangerous. Oh, and Anytime Nyla Rose is on her feet, it's dangerous. And one false move, and Nyla Rose would become the new Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. It's Athena driving the forearms into the jaw of Nyla Rose. It's Athena looking to send Nyla Rose through the table. There it is. Nyla oh. Rose going to send Athena through. Choke slam is over, Riccoboni. Oh, we're going to have a new champion. Wait a minute. No, up and over, Athena. Big time forearm, Athena. Has Nyla Nyla. Rose barely holding on. Hanging on for dear life. Oh, wait a minute. Caprice, second rope on the inside. Athena. Oh, oh nice. Nice. There it is. The winner of the second fall, even in the match, at one fall apiece. from the champion. I've never seen an O face make the opponent go from the outside of the ring through a table. That was beautiful execution by the champion. This is why Athena is our women's champion, Riccoboni. And now it more or less becomes sudden death because it's one table to a finish here. 
There was room and margin for error. When you start out with zero and two out of three falls, now you have to be precise, you have to be laser focused, and you have to be locked in if you want to walk away the ROH Women's World Champion. This is the first time we've seen the champion standing over the challenger and the challenger struggling to get to her feet. And now it's Athena leading the challenger up, dropping the hips as Nyla up. Can she drive the challenger through the door? Oh, she cannot. The champion collapses under the pressure of the challenger, and the challenger knows it. Ooh. And that may have taken the knees out from Athena. I, to me, Caprice, it looked like that left knee buckled. Yeah, it's the amount of energy that Athena uh, is exerting. And now look at the, how easily yeah. Nala Rose just scoops Athena up. And it's been a great run for the champion. Through. The champion sneaks out. Oh, big boot. Oh, look at Nyla very quickly. Yeah. And if this ends just short of 450 days, it will be one of the greatest reigns of all time for any champion in Ring of Honor. And Nyla wants to do that right now. She wants to bookend history. She wants to end history here tonight in her main event. Athena lays prostrate on the table, falling off now. Nyla Ooh. Rose in the corner. The table hangs like the Sword of Damocles set up in the corner as Athena climbs to the second rope. Front face lock here. These two women struggling. The stakes could not be higher. The ROH Women's World title on the line. On the line in the heart of the champion on display as she tries to rip the challenger away. Nala Rose hanging on for dear life. And now trying to reclaim the offensive positioning. Able to lock those forearms in. Driving through Athena. Athena smartly finding her way to the apron instead of back into the ring where she would have been in danger of falling through the table. Nyla trying to create some separation perhaps. But it's Athena who continues to get back up. Oh, and these two. Nyla Rose in a dangerous situation though, Rick Abani. Oh, Athena at least is on the outside of the ring. But Athena, I, did you just see that, Caprice? The table. Oh, the table. There's a table directly under Athena. There's one directly behind Nyla. And, and there's one directly in the corner. There's the table. That's the table that Athena set up. And just like we alluded to, Rick Abani, you can set up your own demise. Did Athena set up her own demise? Looking back at it. Oh, 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 oh my oh, goodness. Look at the, hanging on is Athena. She's and, literally hanging on by a boot. Up the ladder, springboard there. Wait a minute, Athena. What in the world could Athena have in mind here? She has Dollar Rose on her shoulders. Whoa! Who oh! did the third fall in the match? And still, Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Play of strength, one last grasp of adrenaline allows the champion to vanquish her toughest challenger to date. Every time I see Athena, the respect continues to go higher and higher. This defense will not be and Caprice, we gotta, we gotta take a look at the carnage in this match first. The first fall was decided. Nyla Rose smartly went to the apron and then the table in the old face there, Caprice. That was beautiful, beautiful time. And this one, out of nowhere, Athena retains. Just incredible. Athena standing tall. History continues. The champ taking a moment there. The challenger, they almost think. That's just got to be the adrenaline dump happening there. Nyla Rose, what a week here in ROH, fans. Super Card of Honor coming your way April the 5th. And history beckons the champion. Super Card beckons the champion for Caprice Coleman. I mean, Rick Abadi. We'll see you right here on Honor Club next week. Happy wrestling, everybody. It's always good to see the champion in action, and then we remember what happens after the match. And we have not seen this in a few months.
Probably due in part to the level of competition. Oh, God! Aisha's oh. head just smashed into those stairs. The concussive blow. She didn't see that coming either. My goodness. It's the violence on display of the champion. Oh, oh Mike. Mike, can you get, can you get a can you get Aisha, Aisha out of there? And Mike, I'm not asking you. You've seen no. you've seen what Athena oh. has done to officials, security, the referees. Not afraid of anybody. It's the part of the champion that people don't agree with, but it's also the attitude that helped her to retain and helps her wanting to fight over and over again. Over 46 defenses back to back. In a short amount of time, no other champion can say that. I mean, she's getting into the categories with Brian Danielson, Samojo, Nigel McGinnis. That, that is what you have to offer, Atlanta. This hot garbage is what you have to offer me. Oh, come on. ATL isn't even good enough to wipe my ass. What? Wow. So, since you forgot who I am, I am the forever ROA champion, the fallen goddess, the minion overlord, the ROA gatekeeper, the American Joshi, the person that is the inspiration to every women's division and the main event of R-O-H. No lies detected. Match after match. I come to this ring, I put my heart and soul and defend my championship. I give Susie from down the street an opportunity. I give Rebecca from down the block opportunities. And what do I get in return? Nothing. And quite frankly, I am bored. I need more. I deserve more. Shut up, I'm talking. I need more than these porcelain princesses, this hot trash, because I am the one that put ROH on the map. I am the one that put Ring of Honor on my back and took it to new levels. And the funny thing about it is Super Card of Honor is only weeks away. But no one is lining up to face the Forever ROA champion. Hell, my entire, entire locker room is so afraid of facing me that they lined up for a second place tournament. So, and even then, even then Nyla Rose, Nyla Rose, right? Former AEW Women's Champion Nyla Rose. After I threw her through that table, she could have stepped back up, but she stepped right out of Ring of Honor, tucked tail and ran. So here we are. I am dying for competition. I need it to solidify the most epic reign in all of pro wrestling. So who's it gonna be? Hell, I know it's not anyone in the ROH women's division. So I'm gonna open every door, every door around the world. You are welcome to jump in because I need someone to take me to the limit. I need someone to give me real competition. So who is it going to be to take me to 
ظلمت Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Holy shit! Wait! Whoa! Hikaru! Hikaru Shida here at Ring of Honor! Are you kidding me? Three times over! AEW Women's World Champion! With over 400 days as champion in her own right! Arguably the greatest AEW Women's World Champion to date is confronting undeniably the greatest ROH Women's World Champion ever. Wow. And let this soak in the top of the class. In AEW. Caprice, I just got word. Tony Khan has made it official. It will be Hikaru Shida, arguably the greatest AEW Women's World Champion ever, versus Athena, the greatest ROH Women's World Champion ever, at Super Card of Honor April 5th in Philadelphia.